like tomorrow. The it's not good. Video I saw, though. What? Hold on. <laughs> nah, just just it, tomorrow. It, it's okay. Back just anyway. Nah, just leave it for next week. It's all right. We are really about to start. But if you're talking about it, no, we, yeah, we, are, we already started. We already started. Yeah. It's already gone. It's already yeah. gone. Okay, 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 okay. I'll leave yeah. it alone. Okay. Hi. Hey. What's going on, everybody? It's the Not That Serious Podcast, a.k.a. the greatest podcast in the world. It's your boy, Mike, here. LZ. <laughs> Ken is in the building. Lamont, a.k.a. Dr. Waffle. <laughs> Jay. <laughs> and uh, we're in the house. I miss the way you used to say uh, world. Huh? I miss the way you used to say world. In the world? Mm-mm. No, in the... In the... No, you... Ah. World. World. <laughs> <laughs> We we got to bring back a lot of stuff. You know, the best podcast known to man and ape. Mm-hmm. Different things like that. Like Madden, you just That's take stuff away favorite. and then bring it back and act yeah, like it's yeah. new. Oh, yeah, it's a, a new feature. <laughs> it's never been <laughs> done before. We're QB other- Vision. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Based on the accuracy of your quarterback, <laughs> you have a wider scope of vision. Oh, is Madden <laughs> trash to play? Uh, it's trash and enjoyable at the same time. Cause every time I see clips and I'm like, oh, it pisses me. It pisses me to fuck. It's off. like this, but I can't stop. Like I can't stop playing this shit though. You can't break four tackles and then. <sighs> That's the same thing with two K. It is what it is. It defund is fun. Madden defund two K. Yeah, yeah. nigga. Defund FIFA. Yeah, it was, <laughs> the problem is neither one of them have competition. That's if that's literally the issue. They bought out their competition, so. Mm-hmm. I actually want to yeah, add change. before we get. It, mm, Y'all see the thing for the the, the new uh, college football, John? Are y'all excited I, about this? I can't yeah. wait. Honestly, yeah. I don't even care how. I just need that. Dynasty mode. I need it. Were you into that, Elmont? A little bit. Not really. I never really played what? any college games. That I was. That shit was college, really nigga, like college I, sports like that. I was in it. I was taking the that quizzes. That was better than Madden. Nigga, you could get, was you could be on academic Madden, probation if you didn't go to class. That bro, shit was oh, fire. No, huh? didn't get to that I didn't know any of the college teams, but I was in the dorm just kicking it. <laughs> what the fuck are y'all talking about? Y'all what? In the dorms kicking it. Yeah, NCAA. college football. Yeah, NCAA. You'd have you like you would you play your high school and then you go to college because you got a scholarship and then like you had to build your schedule so you had to go to class you had to practice. What do you mean had to go to class? Like in the game, like you, okay, it's it, not it like, like the Sims yeah. where like yeah, yeah that's what you like, like, like I'm in the dorms kicking it. No, like, and the then fuck? each and then yeah, you'd be in the dorm and like you had to go to class like so it'd be like a little fake quiz like if you had history uh, class it'd be like a little basic. History questions. If you had math, I failed them all. Yeah, I was say some of them were actually hard. Um, but each year, and then each year, your dorm got bigger because you went from freshman, junior, to senior year. I mm-hmm. meant like just like the dynasty mode, like Fire. recruiting. And I did. Yeah, I I didn't do dynasty mode as much. I would just make players all the time. Mm-hmm. I was I had like every position. I did both. I <laughs> liked the fun. dynasty mode. More. It was fun. It was a good time. Because I used well, to put the the draft class in the Madden. It is mm-hmm. well. Hey. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Real quick, uh, make sure y'all uh be mm-hmm. on the lookout. Live show coming to coming soon on the second. And then on the second after that mm-hmm. is gonna be after party. Yes, yeah, right. After party. That's right. After party. One more time. After party. You know what I'm saying? At Vera in Cherry Hill. Um Sounds will be prov- uh, provided in part by our boy uh resident DJ, uh best friend uh uh, best pal, best uh, DJ in the world, LZ here. Thank God. Um, it's gonna be a uh, banga banga my <laughs> banga malu. A mm-hmm. banga malu. It's gonna be a, 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 a what now? A grand old time. Damn uh, right. From yes. ten yes. to two a.m. Yep. Oh now, God. You gonna stay out the whole two, Mike? <laughs> Fuck. It's a Saturday. No. Y'all niggas stay out. You ain't got Saturday. nothing to do Sunday. Nigga, huh? Huh? <laughs> All right, it ain't football season. <laughs> you can check the schedule Mike now. Mike will be there from 10 to 10.30. <laughs> Mike will be there from 10 to 10.19. By 10.30, I, I mean, more than next he'll time. already be back at home by 10.30. <laughs> <laughs> Mike will be there from 10 to whenever his chicken tenders are finished. <laughs> so, once the last tender's eaten, you will not see Michael. No, I'm going to be there. I'll be there. He'll be there. Uh, it'll be a good time. Uh, going to have fun. Mm-hmm. And I'm excited for the live show. Excited for after. All, everybody who bought a ticket, can't wait to see y'all there. And if you couldn't big it, get a ticket, you know what I'm saying? You can still come through and kick it with us at the after party at right. Vera. 
You know what I'm saying? 10 to 2. Very in Cherry Hill. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can look up the address there. You know the address off the hand? And just yeah. Google's yeah. We got the flyer uh-huh. out there. The flyer's going to be coming Google out there. Google, Vera, Cherry Hill. Yeah, it ain't yeah. Google and is the address free. is going to be in the flyer that we put out. Just check it out, and it'll be uh, a whole lot Cherry Hill, New Jersey, not Maryland, because we live in Delaware. Yeah, so we'll make it a <laughs> big trip from Vera to Delaware. All right, yeah. so. Yo, this is like Cherry Three, five, and $15 like tiers. So really ghetto. Yeah, apparently one. Yeah, Cherry Hill in Maryland is like There's a Cherry Hill in Maryland? Yeah. yeah. That's none of our business. Yeah, apparently it's, it's yeah. like the trenches. Like we stuff. don't know nothing about that Maryland man, them stuff there. Yeah, they ain't got nothing to do. We're proud Delawareites. <laughs> um, <laughs> how how's everybody this week, Elsie? We'll start with you. Oh, uh, that's cool. I don't even remember what I did. Oh, um, welcome back from your PTO. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Good to be back. Um, I don't know. I was DJing this weekend, but yesterday I went to a. It was a Duce Rock Nation mixer. Okay. Which I wasn't even gonna go to. I was gonna stay home, but now I was like, I guess I should go. So it was cool. You was plug us? Yeah, I mean, I, I, nah, I, I didn't get to ah! plug us. I couldn't even, I didn't even plug myself. Damn. Because like, I was just, you know, just, just in the room. Vibes. Yeah, just in there. And there was supposed to be a special guest. I don't know who it was supposed to be. I didn't know anybody in there that was special. Memphis Jay-Z. Bleak. <laughs> 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 Memphis <laughs> Bleak. <laughs> like, huh? Okay. Huh? Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, Desert but, Storm. <laughs> cool and Dre. What? Um, Benzino. Nah, uh, because nah. uh, my boy Caution was DJing, so okay, he was like, "Yeah, just pull up." So I did. Seen some people that I knew, so that was cool. Yeah, that's cool. But other than that, yeah, just DJing all weekend. Oh, Friday we did an R and B party up here. That shit was wall to wall. Packed. Nice. That shit was crazy. That was that was good. Um, yeah, other than that, just regular. Shit. Did they play Dreams and Nightmares during the R and B? No, they did not play Dreams and Nightmares. Mm-hmm. We played. Mm-hmm. We good. we played mostly. Oh, no, wait, I don't know. I actually now now you say it, I'm not even sure. Um, but no, we played eighty five percent R and B that night. Like it was a good. It should be hundred. If it's R and B night, R&B I mean, only. people get drunk and then you turn up a second, and then you go right back to where you was at, and that like that's R and B. I promise you, that I'm works sure. every time. I'm sure it does, but that's not what I want to hear. You weren't there. Well, Keenan, I wasn't. You could be a DJ. <laughs> you didn't go. <laughs> Listen, over. we was talking about it earlier. If I was a DJ, I I'd be the DJ that's playing music just for me. You be the DJ that don't get booked. Yeah. Nah, it'd be fire though. Everybody be kicking. Everybody with thinks that. That's the problem. Yeah. Everybody not Keenan. Is this camera on me? That's the fucking problem. Nah, everybody's Keenan though. <laughs> no. I no one is Keenan. Just mm-hmm. say it, Mike. Just say it. Read the room. You're just gonna be playing Eric Bellinger at all. <laughs> that would be a bad part. Uh, you can play uh, Eric yeah. Bellinger. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to six hours straight. <laughs> here, 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 here. I said here, I was gonna make here, Eric Bellin- here, here. Uh, Eric Bellinger playlist for you. Uh, I'm gonna do it. And, I, already, and I already know what the playlist sound like. You don't. He's <laughs> gonna listen to it the same time he listened to the Usher. Two hours and fifty four minutes of. <laughs> Speaking of that, yeah, I think Mike would actually that, like wait, Eric Bellinger. That's the funniest part. Pause. Have you listened to the Usher album yet? No, no. But have I you know listen, what it is. Have you listened to those two Beyonce songs? This ain't yet? Texas. Yep, I no. sure have, motherfucker. No. That's on hard. No. You didn't like no. you didn't like the Texas hard too, no. bitch. The <laughs> Texas Hold'em Joe is fire, but it's sixteen characters. This ain't Texas. You like it? He ain't listen. He just saw the TikToks and all the videos and just the TikToks. That. For a nice bonus, <laughs> great TikToks <laughs> by the way. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, I'm pregnant. What are we gonna do? This ain't Texas. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Gold, uh, yeah, that's dark. Gold, that's good. What's uh, wrong with you? I'm gonna get around to it. We're not getting around to it. It's just not high on the priority list. It's so much. It's too much music. What other music? It's too much music that what he already listens to it's that like he can't. An hour. What? It's only an hour long. What is Usher's album? Usher's album. Oh. I didn't hear the whole thing yet either. That's going to and from work. Yeah. I don't want that kind of vibe on my way to work in the morning. Why are you being disrespectful to Usher? What about the vibe on the way home? That could work. That could work. That could work. No, I mean, I I get on the way. On the way, I'm trying to get ready. Like, I'm not. I'm just trying to relax. What? You getting ready and A Town Girl come on, you be like, oh, okay, nah. I feel that. I highly doubt that. So, you guys already disagree and you guys listen to the album. That's just one song we disagree on. Yeah. The rest we agree I on. Listen, A A Town Girl goes listen. That's a more lotto, right? Yeah. Mm-mm. Song's about me. It's not A Town Girl is about you. It's about you. Yeah. yeah. It's about his life. He has himself an A Town Girl. Come on now. Okay. He's obviously not talking about himself as the A Town Girl. Exactly. So you don't never know with this nigga, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. That's true. Nigga that said he's a context clue. Court. 
<laughs> did the niggas, did he say that? Whoa. No, the nigga Pause. said he was about to be gay. Who <laughs> said I wanted you to did fuck say that? Whoa, 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 whoa. You said you wanted to fuck it's, something. It's jokes. It's jokes. This is comedy. This nigga said I was about to swing teeth. Somebody said that. <laughs> somebody put that. Huh? Somebody put that shit in Discord, bro. I was crying. What? <laughs> Nothing. Oh. Okay. If you were in the Discord, you I haven't checked the Discord. Yeah, join the Discord. Yeah, join, join the, the Discord. Discord. <laughs> Mike was not going to be in there. So <laughs> join in the I haven't Discord. checked in a while. Mike I'm not going to lie. In there. He was in there. Weren't you in there like the, the like yesterday or two? Yeah, I'll be responding every now and again. I'm yeah. not as active as I used to be. I need to be up in there. Uh, it's because I'm not behind my computer as much as I used to be. I used to have just had a Discord up so I'd be able to see everything. But I'm never. What about you your phone? Beater. I ain't never used Discord on a computer. I don't keep the notification for the Discord on my phone. It should be bloop 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 I'm between the turn 50. off the notification. Well, we just, saw that's I the only it. notification I, I keep on, on is Discord. <laughs> Discord and my text messages. Everything else is off. Mm. That's like the entire computer. Mm. Okay. Makes it better. You want to yeah, yeah, connect get the, with the, the multiple monitors going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Like your Minority Report. You got <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yo, just it's just, it's just Discord. <laughs> I got like the niggas Discord down with here. The Apple joint, like I got the Discord down here. I got the game on right here, and I'm playing 2K on here. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, mm. Past oh, life. Past life. Past okay. life. Mm. Okay. And I just got the game here and 2K here. That's mm. Mm. How was Cute. your week? Yeah, mine. Mine was cool. Uh, mine was cool. Uh, I had a nice long weekend actually. Um, oh, you had off. Today? I, I had off today. Damn, must be. Nice. I took off early on Friday. Mm. Saturday, I was gonna go to work, but then um, it got closed. Nice. So hey, it snowed. I, yeah, I had a nice nowhere. long weekend, man. It was chilling. I love to hear that. Um, <laughs> I went mm. to like a little uh, dance, like a not a dance, but like a, a Valentine's <laughs> Day dinner. A ball. I like a almost. It was it was held by my church through it. Oh, okay. okay. It was like my grandfather's birthday was yesterday, mm-hmm. so his birthday. He wanted everybody to come to the church event, and you know, okay. so I mean, it was my grandpa's birthday on Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Actually, your grandma was there. <laughs> at, oh, at your thing? Yeah, at the church yeah. thing. She 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 part of like nine different churches, bro. I yeah, yeah. Like, like yeah. Ever start? since she started going, she started talking about me too. She's like, I don't see. <laughs> I started going to Michael's church and I don't see him there no more. <laughs> I'm like, hey, 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 hey. Damn, quick cut the clock she, she do that same she do that same old mm. people move. I haven't seen you for like come on now. I, man. I was just at I the house. Seen you in the month of Sundays. I forgot yeah. she even went there. Yeah, so she was there stepping mm. out, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Stepping out. She was stepping out. <laughs> you know, it was nice, you know, it was a little catered catered thing. Nice. Um food was okay. <laughs> Gave me massive shits afterwards. Good to know. But, you know, we came mm-hmm. through it. Everything Thanks. gives you shits. Nah, it was weird because I thought it, the food was, I mean, the food was like. What was it? Six out of six out of ten. What'd you eat? So it's like you have one choice for appetizer, one choice for dessert, and then you could choose between like three or four different things for dinner. They had like a, a pork thing, pork chi- porkini, porkini. That sound nasty. Yeah, and then it was either chicken marsala. You can have steak. You can have salmon. Mm-hmm. So I got the steak. So it was like a steak with uh mashed potatoes, green beans, and carrots. Oh, look at you! Okay. It was all right. You know what I'm saying? Green beans weren't seasoned that well, but you know it. it you know, <laughs> it is. What it, is. it never cheese. is. It never is. Were they still squeaky? What do you mean? Squeaky they green steamed. beans. No, the the, the 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 yeah, it was a little squeaky. Yeah, still oh, they were the carrot. Was, the damn near was just a raw carrot. I'd oh, rather a raw that's carrot the good than stuff. a carrot. They literally just peeled a carrot and just sat it on the fucking thing. Like that's I, fine. I'm like, I, damn, I, nigga, I, you I, ain't I, even going. That's chop, fine. Honestly, I like my vegetables. This bitch up. Like, I like my vegetable steamed. So that's cool. The moment you cook a carrot, I don't want it anymore. Really? Okay. I'm not really a carrot person. Like you got to chop it up and like mix it with other I don't want it at all. Hey, talk about it. Hey, now, I mean that applies to most things, but not carrots. Hello. Um, they had, they had the appetizer was like tomato basil soup, which was awful, and then they had a cheesecake, and I don't eat cheesecake, so that just Damn, I just gave that to my brother. It up for me, bro. I gave it to my brother. Fuck him. Nice. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so he don't need to. He do. He's a growing boy. Mm-hmm. You hear me uh, trying to make sure he don't. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I'm growing up, bitch. Not out. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure he yeah. don't do both. Well, he's fine. Okay. He's fine. How old is your brother now? Oh, he's shit. I think he gotta be at least 30. He gotta be like a junior now, right? Yeah, he's a senior. He's a senior? 
Wow. And she's in schools now. Oh, shit. Mm. Did you go to Township? Yeah, go to Township. Wow. They don't even know they got another one for we, we just went to this motherfucking um, honor society thing. That a couple oh, are we smart? I think it's smart as fuck, bro. Wow. Smart as fuck. Good for him. Smart. Fucking do volunteer work and shit. Where you trying to go to school? Didn't know yet. So he he told me he literally just told me his top three. He want to go to is is George Washington in okay University DC. In DC yeah yeah uh, Temple mm. okay a sister where she went and then Montclair Montclair you been falling in foot Montclair no now Montclair like, yes just kept, nah just kept yes. declining. No, Actually, Montclair, Montclair was at the top of the list on so Red Hawks, my boy. Yo, nigga, you trying to get this money. You they better give him a full ride if he's going to Montclair. Yeah, this date. You better Yo, give him money if you go to George Washington. Hell yeah. Nigga. Living in D.C.? Oh, sure, but I'm saying, like, if he's going to Montclair. Oh, I would hope they're giving him some bread. Yeah. yeah. Hope he's not paying the same amount, but yeah, she, yeah. he was like, that was, yeah, that's what he told me. Them three, those were his top three. Good for him. So, hey, man. I hope you go to Montclair. You go know. right off. Oh, we go wherever. I really don't care. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Just don't college. come home stupid. Well, he's not. I don't. I don't. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> hey, man. Just don't go get to college. Impression. All of a sudden, go reinvent themselves. He could come back with two baby mamas. A DUI. What, what niggas do you, you put know? that out there? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you put it out there, it's not gonna happen. Yeah. Exactly. Because oh. now you know what's. I ain't never yeah. seen niggas do that. They was dumb already if they was doing yeah. that shit. Yeah, a nigga, come, yeah, you're you're an idiot already. <laughs> Coming back home, yeah. college, two baby moms, two baby moms in college, Did in college learn, at school, nothing? at school, a nah. lot of sex. Nah, I get like you, you get, get somebody like pregnant while you were in the freshman year, or whatever. Right. Mm-hmm. I seen that happen to a couple chicks, couple dudes. You know, they, they get somebody pregnant, whatever. Two, I feel like that shit happened. I just didn't realize. Probably <laughs> they disappeared like ah yeah because they, guess they just they couldn't afford the family. semester. A lot of people, a lot of people <laughs> disappeared. When you look back, think about just think about it. A lot of people disappeared. Definitely the mm. first year, but for sure after that first semester, a lot of people disappeared. Yeah, or a lot yeah, of well, people I mean, went from living on campus to commuting, commuting, and that's just financial, whatever. But that first year. A lot of niggas fell off. Yeah, no, nah, they did that joint in my freshman orientation. They were like, look to your left, look to your right. One of y'all not going to be here next semester. And that shit and was that true. They were you right. You would have thought we was in the damn army. They, they were, like, were right. Look, 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 look. <laughs> One of y'all not going to be here. Or not, it wasn't next semester, it was next year. Yeah. One of y'all is not going to make it to next year. One out of three. Say. And it was <laughs> me? <laughs> me? Me? I mean, you look to your left, you're right. There's nobody to your right, so <laughs> you're fucked. <laughs> 50 50 it's now you. It's just me you <laughs> nah, Yeah but nah, that shit was true Oh yeah like, That shit was definitely true I've seen a lot of niggas that A lot of niggas fell off Like And it's just cause like It's that It's that like it's Nobody's the, telling you what to do It's the freedom for sure mm-hmm. It's the Yeah too It's freedom is like If you don't have Any kind of sense That you're giving that much Amount of freedom and like, there's no threatening of, or oh, your parents are gonna find out because they can't tell your parents. They tell literally you cannot tell your parents if you're fucking up. Yeah, they can't call them. They cannot like you were. In a, they can't do it. Mm-hmm. I made many a bad decision. Yeah, like they could call up and be like, "Oh, I want to know my kids." Are great. They can't tell them. Yeah. Nah, my parents didn't. They don't think they were that nosy. Did yeah, well, because you knew you probably had sense. Ass. You were a good kid anyway. Nah, so it's not I like... mean, I, I missed. Of, in this one class, I missed multiple quizzes just because <laughs> I didn't want to go. And the worst part was from my room, I could see where I would be going. Like, it was the next street over. And I would just wow. l- look out my window and be like, nah. I, should, I should be in that classroom. Nah. You can see a class from your window? Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, I never you're pretty, like you're that. kind of That's a scumbag behavior. <laughs> yeah. That's really bad. You can wake up and then look like. Man, no. I can see the room. A little, I could have been A late. mere 100 steps. <laughs> but I said, nah, let me go back to sleep. I'll get ready for the next class. Nah, I was uh, doing shit like that. What That's, time was it? I don't know, nine, ten. Ah, you're a piece of shit. Early yeah. Enough, I might be smart, but I'm also very lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing shit like that, like, when it mattered. Like, towards the end. That's why I, oh, st- nah. I nigga, I still have nah, to, you're a sc- I haven't graduated. I still have to get, I have enough, this is how bad it was for me. I think I told this before. I have enough credits to be a graduate, but they're not in the right places. Uh, you're like, just doing shit. I have hella credits. Just taking classes. <laughs> just, just, just taking <laughs> classes. Just paying money. Classes, they show the Greek film. Yeah, cla- or, or <laughs> classes not counting towards my, my, uh, my yeah. major. Mm-hmm. Or, Norwegian accounting. Or the, the grade wasn't high enough for it to count because for history at Kane, you can only have two C's in four years. So mm. I had history classes where 
I got a C and it didn't count. So I got the uh, credits. Or the, if it happened in another history class or another type of history class, they had to count it as an elective or something like that. Yeah, they had that. Uh, Didn't they have that one year where y'all like, where Kane like lost accreditation or some shit like that? Nah, that never happened to Kane. No, no, Are you no, sure? No, 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 no. Let's see. I don't know. I think, uh, I, I think I, y'all I lost that. it for like a year. I, I remember. Oh, y'all no, 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 no. Kane, no. It, they thought we were going to lose it because Doc, oh, okay, y'all it was this dude. He was the uh, president. His name was Dr. Farahi. Apparently, he had lied on his resume, or there was an error on there where he had lied. What lie? Like, there was something that he didn't have. Um, so, the school was like, oh, we might, people were freaking out, pretty much. They were yeah. like, oh, we might lose our accreditation. Da, da, da. The school's not going to lose its accreditation because the president lied. No, he's just going to get fucking fired. So, he got fired for that. Dang. Um, I forgot all about that. That memory came out of nowhere. <laughs> but, um, mm-hmm. yeah, no, I just have credits in different places. So, I want to go back and finish. I just don't know when or how or where I'm going to go. Cause I, don't, I doubt I'm gonna go back to Kane. I, it's not like I'm, I don't owe him any money. RCBC, nigga. Just do the classes online. I gotta see what transfers over. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a history major. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just do the classes at Kane online. They don't got online classes. <sighs> not the classes I need. Mm-hmm. Like no, I have sometimes to. Sometimes when you get up like, to like them three, yeah. four hundred. Yeah, it's yeah, four thousand level go classes. Campus. Campus. Like I have to do my. I, I know I have to do my junior seminar and senior seminar. Those like the two main ones. Well, yeah. Check so. with uh, RCBC because they might do some classes that like. Yeah. Aren't at the school, but like they be in affiliate programs yeah. and whatnot. You can just I'm definitely, that. I'm definitely gonna finish. Like it doesn't make sense to have this many credits and not have a degree. Facts. Yeah. It right makes no sense. Go for it. So yeah. I think I have 124 credits. I got like six classes left. You only need 118 or something like that, or 120. That sounds right. 120 credits. So, right. so my shit is just in the Thanks, wrong Mike. place. Thanks, Mike. Yep. Mm-hmm. My shit is just in the wrong place. Mm-hmm. So, but I'm gonna go back because uh, I makes want no y'all sense. to get y'all degrees. Man. Yeah, I would like to have shit, that. Me too. <laughs> all that time we put in this motherfucker. Two, nice bro. I was shit, bro. fucking driving back and forth to that bitch. I commuted the last year I was there. Hmm. Driving back bro, and forth, commute, nasty, commute, nigga, my, stinky. Yes, commuting was stinky. Was was dick cheese. I don't know why niggas do it. it built, I understand it built why niggas though. do it. It builds character. I don't character. get why you niggas do it. Commuting because I did it. Mm-hmm. And but it was com- different from for, for us though because we live in South Jersey going up north. And it's different types of commuting. It's commuting with a car. Then it's commuting commute without a car. And commuting without a car, I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy because that shit sucks the dick. Yeah, because uh, you were doing the river line really, to the nigga, train, right? Nigga, I was doing the river line to the New Jersey Transit. Then the New Jersey Transit from Trent to see Caucus. Then I would switch over and see Caucus from there to Montclair State. The Secaucus switch was easy, though, because you and literally then, go from one platform and then go. Yeah, yeah but some days <laughs> but. it didn't run like that. So yeah. I had to go to, like, some days I would have to go from, like, New Jersey Transit to the 28 bus and ride that hour and a half mm. long bus ride. The longest bus that 28 ride bus was nasty, in the bro. history of man. That 28 bus Niggas, was nasty. if you from Newark <laughs> and you know that 28 bus, that shit 28 was... bus is a mother. It goes all throughout all Newark. All the way up Bloomfield Avenue. You go from literally the, the trenches to the suburbs. You you can bus. you can literally see the switch. <laughs> yeah, you can see when it. it happens from the beauty of suburbia, <laughs> Upper Montclair, Bloomfield. Then you like you don't even turn on the street. You just keep going down you Bloomfield going Avenue, there, yep. and it just it just <laughs> happens and like oh, crack, and then there's crackheads and rats. And you're yeah, like wow, and you go from like and Birkenstocks yeah. and fucking white lesbians. Yep. Mm. <laughs> To crack, right? <laughs> just, <laughs> just crack on just the ground. Straight, crack right. cocaine, crack nigga. Anywhere. You go and watching ballet dancers and fucking, <laughs> and fucking any theater kids. It's a fucking so, crackheads doing the fucking two step. Yeah, mm-hmm. in front of the IHOPs. It's fucking nigga, madness. Pulling up to Newark Penn Station is like a top three worst experience. <laughs> Never yeah, been. You, yo, you never been to Newark Penn Station? Newark Penn Station? You never been to Newark Penn Station? I've been to New York Penn Station. You never been to you Newark, been Penn Newark Penn Station? Why would I be in Newark Penn Station? <laughs> why, why would I be oh, in no, Newark no, Penn no, Station? No, how have you never been? How have you never been to Newark Penn Station? Because why would I be? You had no reason to be there. Damn. Yeah, so you just literally bypass it. You went straight to New York, I guess. I'm in New York. But if you go, wait, no, you have to go to Newark Penn Station to get to New York, right? I don't have to leave. You don't have to. You're not. No. Some people. I'm just in the train. Some, some, some people. You don't have to get off. You just, some people. You don't oh, have to get off. Some people like. Sometimes, get, but I say, don't they transfer sometimes? Like, sometimes, oh, you got to get off. Sometimes get back you on. get off and you can take the path. 
Oh, okay, that's if okay. That's what we did. That, we, we went to Kendra. We sorry, you didn't do what we did. Ah, he had money. Yeah, you had money. Yeah. He just went straight up. I would get off. Straight you, up you, the gut. You yeah. get to Newark Penn Station, you had to get off and take the path over there. Take the $2 the path. The World Trade Center path. How yeah. much do you save getting off that one stop? No, you it was just quicker. You, no, you supposed, you're supposed to save like a full $10. Easily. Because ah. that path is like 3 bucks. See, I told you I'm lazy. I'm not trying to huh? do all that. What are you talking about? The path train from New York to like the. World or if you trip. get your Hamilton ticket all the way to New York, New York Penn Station, yeah, it's just like forty five dollars. No, it's not. It's like no, it was like, now it is. Have y'all rode the train lately? No, it's no. Back then it was probably <laughs> yeah. it was probably like it was like twenty five something it was like that. Only like a couple bucks more than the Newark one. I've never had to pay. I'm gonna look it up. I used to take all the time to go to work. It was, it was only like because it's only once. It's two stops from New York. Hmm? Huh. It's, Penn, it's Newark Penn Station and then Secaucus and then. Oh yeah, yeah, I understand that. It's not that much of a difference. It was like fifteen dollars round ticket for yeah, to go to New York. So fifteen dollars, but that the path went, is like three dollars. That shit went way up, bro. I'm telling you, it's the, the two dollar difference. <laughs> no, you're not the same. It's not the same. And then you, it all depends on where you're going. That too. So that too, yeah. it's actually a four dollar difference now one way. Round trip, I guess, is eight dollars. Uh, yeah, mm. yeah. Well, it all depends on where you're going. If you're going. And then all you, yeah, yeah and was, it also, yeah, it does depend on. If you're going if to World Trade, yeah, you would get off and go to. Go yeah, to but that's what I did most times. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, all that depends. Makes on where you're that going. makes sense. But yeah, that I don't even know where I got. Yeah, commuting is the, is the devil. True. Um, but last thing, I finally saw uh, Intergalactic this weekend. What is that? Oh, the Kid Cudi show. The Kid Cudi show. Oh, yes. That nigga wore that one outfit the entire fucking movie. It's a cartoon. I didn't see that. Yeah, <gasps> but animation. It's so good. It's pretty animation, good. Animation, I'm sorry. It's pretty I'll check good. It out. I have to rewatch it. It's really good. I watched that shit. I'm, that I'm movie kind of gave times. me hope for Kid Cudi music again. The al- mm. What? The album on that movie was fire. The music on that his album new, was his, very The album good. he just put out is good, too. I haven't oh, listened yeah, to it. Cool. Mm-hmm. Cool. But like in a recent era where Kid Cudi's music has been very disappointing for a long time, mm-hmm. the music on that on that movie, it fit perfect. Very good, very good. He was hum- mm-hmm. 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 very good Dallas. stuff. Ty Dolla Sign was on there doing this thing. Huh. Jessica, oh, oh, Jessica Williams is the main. Jessica ah, Williams, okay. my girl. I did not remember anything about that movie. It's just simple. And then what? Oh, what's her name? Man, whatever. Ayo beardy. Ayo beardy. I'm telling you, the black the black dress <laughs> fucked me up, bro. And it was her name next to Jessica it's Williams. It's okay. It was, it's it looked okay. crazy. Don't worry. It looked yeah. crazy. We'll just, yeah. yeah. That was very nice. How was your week? You know, MJ doesn't like to forget things. Yeah. I wish he would sometimes. Uh, <laughs> Keenan. My week was cool. I got a new car. Um, hey. You did? You did? I did. What'd, What'd you, get? you get? I got a Hyundai Santa Fe 2020. Okay. Is that a crossover? No. no. It's a car. Huh? It's an SUV. I think it's a crossover. Oh, no, it is a... I was going to say... No, I think it's a SUV. It's yeah. a SUV. It's a sham I don't guy? think it's a SUV. Could it's, it's a sham guy. It's an SUV. It's a SUV. <laughs> is it a sham guy? It's right up front. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, you don't sound too excited about it. it you don't like it. What year is it? It's a 2020. You don't like it. No, I, I, no, I, I do love the car. But it's just that but I have champagne taste with a Poland Spring budget. Mm-hmm. The Sony budget. What color is mm-hmm. it? It's white. Ooh. Ooh, what? What? What's wrong with a white car? No, I just, I just think about the, the cleaning up. That uh, job? We clean all the time. Yeah. What's the, is it monthly payment? Yeah, it's a nice little monthly payment. How much? How much? Are you clocking? It's like oh. 318. That's not bad. That's, that's not, not terrible. That's good. You're doing good, kid. You're doing good. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, how many miles are on it? It was like 28. Oh, oh you got a brand new car. God damn, <laughs> you straight. Yukita has a brand new car. It's a brand new whip, <laughs> nigga. Oh, listen, I, I said I love the car. Okay. I love the car. <laughs> it's fully loaded outside of the fact that it don't have an uh, automatic starter, which on the oh, description yeah. it said it did. You can get that put in, though. That's fine. Yeah, but I ain't, if I'm going to spend the money, money I spent for that bitch, I just... I don't know. <laughs> so you tell me they lied to you? So how much you put down for that? 10K. Okay. <laughs> Shit, nigga. God damn. Yeah, I... Why didn't you get you something else? Had 10K to play with? <laughs> Why didn't you get something else? There's somebody that sells cars like that. I could have put this nigga in a Porsche if you gave me that. Not that. Nah. 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 It, 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 because it's it's the it's the trim under like the the top trim. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it got lit 
I, I got everything in that bitch. I got a fucking panoramic uh, sunroof. Okay. I got the heated steering wheel, heated heated and cool seats. Shit. Exactly. You got cool seats? I got cool seats. The cool seats go for a long way. The cool seats tickling your balls. Bro. Crazy. Let me summertime. Tell you, when we was in Canada, when we was riding to Canada, mm-hmm. them cool, I never experienced cooling seats in my life. Never. It's life We was up in that, that front seat lip. Yo, we was like, cool seats. Imagine putting a fucking Ricola in your butthole. This is what it feels like. Ricola. Yeah, exactly. Yes, Yes. Rob Gunner, your balls, (laughs) your gooch. (laughs) Yeah, it got the heads up display. So wait, so what were you looking for, and why did you set on? I wanted an SUV. Okay. Um, I've I've always wanted an SUV, but thing is, my pockets never met the SUV payment. That's, well, what you, you want, like that's a fair. Lincoln? You want something big, like a Navigator? No, I just want to be off the ground. I was like, you trying to be like, okay. like I, Johnson's Family Vacation type nah, shit? No, 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 no. All right, you wanted to be off the I ground. I think it's just something. Have you, it's, a, it's, a, it's like, was is that your first SUV? Yeah. Are you ever going to go back now? No. Yeah, me neither. No. I'm not, I'm, because I've had low cars before I'm never that, going back. too. I've only had trucks. Like, I'm going back. I had a van, and then I went to the to the, to the low Buick, but then I got mm-hmm. back. I, I'm, it's I can't never go going back. back. It, you just see everything. I can't do everything it. Everything is in much better view. If I was ground. in that, when I got in my accident, I, I wouldn't have got in an accident. I was about to say that. That's true. You would have been able to see over the car exactly. that you didn't. <laughs> you said you're going back? I'm absolutely going back. My plan is, with the car I have now, I'm almost done paying this bitch off. I'm gonna keep it, use it as the equipment car. So I just keep my DJ shit in there. I'm gonna buy something nice, a car, oh, you got a two seater. You got money for two car two seater. I want something with limited space in it. Me and my bitch. That's the one he gonna get the bitches in. <laughs> and I got you one. Nah, <laughs> there ain't gonna nah, be no nah, multiple. You can have the other bitch on the uh, center mm. console, like <laughs> I want a bitch on the hood. <laughs> on the hood, <laughs> I got a bitch in my trunk. I got a bitch on my subwoofer. <laughs> No, nah, I, I want. Good. Yeah, I, I'll two car. I mean, yeah, I'll have two cars, but I only have one payment at that point. You bought two insurances. Two insurances. Hopefully, we have one a lot lower by the time that happens. So my insurance actually went down when I switched over, which I'm like, don't know how that mm. happened. But yeah, okay. it's a very grown conversation right yeah, now. Who's your insurance? Nigga is thirty for real. How's your insurance? Yeah, I got the Jamaican British uh, Geico. Huh? What? The Jamaican British Geico. Geico. You, you, have you have Geico. Geico. Why don't you just fucking say that? You make it better Geico. Because <laughs> people Why are you adding too many words? People always were like, is he Jamaican? Is he British? You know? he's I never thought he was vividly, Jamaican. He's so fi- he is violently British. Violently British. Are you sure? Like violently British. I'm positive. I'm are you sure. I'm so I'll positive. I'll tell you I'm so he's positive he might be Australian. I'll tell you what he's not. It's fucking Australian. Jamaican. Or Australian. He ain't Jamaican I at know all. what he's not. It's Jamaican. I got a flat tire. That nigga is from Manchester, bro. United. Some glass, say he is. Glasgow. Glasgow, Glasgow nigga. <laughs> but yeah, nah, so I got Geico. Uh, it Geico. dropped down like 135 bucks. Ooh, you chilling. That's crazy. Good for I you. Saw a fucking, uh, I noticed a motherfucking uh, thing in my windshield earlier. What? In my car. What? Like one of those little, like, uh, like a crack in my windshield, but it's not like a crack where it's like all around. <sighs> I have, it's I like one of those right little, little John. I'm like, a, bro. A, a rock hit you, John? I might have. But that's I what happened to me. I'm like, bro, like, I don't got time. I mean, that's a, that's a, I feel like I'm going to get, get uh, one of them fail. little Johns from like, yeah. no, no, you can just call people. It's, it's, no, you it's, can call, what's it's, it called? It's Safe Light. Cheap. Safe light will come and do it wherever. I, okay, you're I'm at. not gonna say it's dumb cheap, but it's not expensive. It's not as expensive as you think. Because it I know I had I, I yeah. went there with Safe Light. It'd be like one eighty nine. No fix. But maybe I had them do it one day, like while doing while I'm at work or something. Yeah, they come yeah, right to your job. They'll come to your job. Yeah, it's easy. Uh, I might have to do that then, cause you won't even see them niggas do it with a new windshield and a fucking sticker at the top. <laughs> That's how I like. Pretty it. good. I had to do it. That shit happened to me during COVID. I don't know what the fuck. During COVID, nobody was going anywhere. My car was parked outside. I think a kid was playing and threw a ball at it or something, and it hit the windshield. Cracked my shit. Pause. Cracked my windshield. I can't crack your shit. Why? (laughs) Cracked the windshield (laughs) all the way. (laughs) Look, his ball cracked the shit. That's crazy. That was being cracked by kids. (laughs) Yeah, anyway. How do you safe like? Cracked by the community. Cracked by the community. Hmm. Uh, How was your week? Uh, pretty good. Nothing extravagant, you know. Uh, went out to dinner, forgot my wallet, so. <laughs> <laughs> Free dinner. Okay, I see what you. Maybe just forgot it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Some nice Korean. I didn't have to pay for it. You, you were like, oh, 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 oh no. Started, like, Started tapping, tapping his chest. <laughs> 
Where is it? <laughs> he ain't got, oh. he ain't got no shirt with chest pockets all the way oh. up here. <laughs> Damn. Or she at the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and you were Brandy? <laughs> yeah. What did she say? She's like, oh, what if I didn't have my wallet? Like, that was her first yeah, bad day watching we, this. We had to bust some What if I didn't have mine? It's like, well, I guess we're going home. So she paid, did you did you get like cash ever? She's like, yeah, no. she got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, she she's fine. Like, you just, just got it. This she got a job. She got a job. I would make the same amount as me. But what happens now? Like, because you know, the whole thing is, oh, you don't pay, you wash dishes. Like, what if oh. y'all don't got the money? Like, oh, if they, you really don't, I, I, thankfully, one day we should just go to places and act like we don't have money to see what they see do what happens. Mm-hmm. A social man, we'll put it on Patreon. <laughs> this is a prank. <laughs> Three, five, fifteen dollar tears. <laughs> man, no, this is gonna be the super mega tier. Only. <laughs> watch us. <laughs> we go places and act shit. broken. Watch us wash <laughs> dishes to get out of this bill. Uh, see, I was getting a hairnet. <laughs> just, go, just go to Fogo de Chao, run it up. Oh, we got go uh, it. But yeah, it was uh shout out to uh Dolsot House. Some great wings. Those soy garlic Yo, wings. Yes. Heard that place is good. Ooh wee. Immaculate wings, Dolsot House. Ooh wee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, know, I don't know why Korean people know how to fry chicken so well, yeah, but from us. Yeah. No, yeah. no, they they that is true. true. I know, but I'm saying No, like that's a fact. Oh, I know. Yeah. But they've enhanced it. Oh yeah, they did something else. They done something different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's good. No, the very good dose of wing, uh, wings at Dosa House. We still got to go to K-Pop. We yeah, still we the one in Del Rio, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We can do that. Sure. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Nice and close. Mm-hmm. I could have went yesterday. Well, I wasn't, I wasn't around yesterday. Ah. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. I wasn't around either, sir. I'm so, just, we're just talk, talking. talking we're shit. Just talking, sorry. <laughs> as, as, as per you. You're yapping. Anyway, it's all right. I apologize. <laughs> Anyway, all right. What do we What do we got? What do we got, uh, Lamont? I know you got the list. I don't know a lot. Oh, I wasn't looking. Like a lot of people wasn't looking. <laughs> I mean, you got the list. We I all have. We all have the list. Have the list. I, I thought he had it like in front of because All Star Weekend. Yeah, I was looking start at that. NBA that was the most tra- recent NBA transit. Yeah, yeah, we could yeah. do All Star Weekend. Did y'all watch All Star sure? Weekend. Every, well, I, I didn't watch that. everything, but what I well, from what I saw, ass. The only part I saw was the skills competition and some of the three point competition. I purposely avoided the dunk contest, and Damn. I was not watching. When the I tell All-Star you, game. when I tell you, I watched some of that dunk competition. Some of the worst dunks I've ever. Wasn't Jalen Brown life. in it? Jalen Brown. Bro, he didn't hit the group chat. He said, ass. "Why is Jalen in?" Yo, dead ass. Like, why are you here? Why bro, are you? What are you doing here? Because nothing about his dunks were, you know, nigga. I'm, I'm, I'm a be creative, nigga. He was <laughs> in it. Mac McClung, which is I understand because he's a champion. He only gets picked up for the dunk. But contest. that nigga was in it. He doesn't. Yeah. He, they said they pick him up like a circus clown. Yeah. Like a circus <laughs> go, 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 go jump, white boy. Like, come on. And then he said, oh, I might come out. <laughs> Nigga, you have to come out. This is the only time you're going to be the on. the only, only time, time you'll ever. know that you're in the league still. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and then the they, 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 they have Obi Toppin's brother. Obi Toppin's brother. I thought it was Obi Toppin. Yeah. I thought it was Obi Toppin. Also was Toppin on the back. I'm like, when the fuck was he back on the Knicks? And I was like, that's his brother. He's his fucking brother. I'm like, so they draft him, trade him away to sign his brother. I'm mm-hmm. not gonna lie. Who's, this who's, nepotism, le- who's worse than him? This nepotism in the NBA has to stop because there's no oh, way. That, Does it? That one's, uh, I, don't I know. I haven't heard I of no good. I know what you're talking about. The only about. good brothers in the NBA, I swear to God, the are the two niggas that are going to retire: the Marquise Mor- the Morrises, and the Holidays. The Holidays. Any yeah. others? And uh, Stephen, uh, Stephen, uh, Seth. 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 Oh yeah, yeah. that's it. Thompsons. Uh, the Thompsons. Who? What Thompson's? Thompson twins? The, what oh, the exactly? twins. The twins. They were the twins. They're young. Oh, Ashore and yeah, yeah. Bless. Who's, or what, what's his name? Uh, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Hey, hey, that's the problem. I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah. What about the Lopez? Everything else is not. Yeah. Thompson was not. Thompson was not. I wanted. I, I thought one of them retired. No, they're both still in the league. They're Who? both still in the league. The Lopez's, Brooklyn and Robin. Yeah, Robin just got traded though. Yeah. So he's not on the team right now. He got bought out, I think. But that's not nepotism. Yeah, that's not. No, that's not. Because they're good. I know what you're talking about. Bro. I'm talking about. You're he's talking, talking about the asses. The nasses. The nasses. The, the nasses. The nas asses. The nasses. The nas asses. Terrible. Yeah, he the topping was not like. He he's not good. He's not a Neither one of them are good. So though. that's not nepotism. Yeah, it is. Because now he got no. to leave because his name. No, his brother got in. Top is he went, he's not like a great player for him. No, oh. it's got to be like Giannis. Well, he has to be like Giannis for it to be. I'm still a nepotism, man. No, no. He got drafted by the team that traded him. Or trade his brother. That has nothing to do with because yeah, what's his name, brother? Like Toppin wasn't the, a his, great player. Like his his character. <laughs> yeah. Your brother's cool. You'll be cool. You like his name. Talking about Giannis and I yeah. Don't they mind. had to change the locker. The huh? nepotism. Keep it. 
I don't, Thanasis is Fuck terrible, that. bro. He's, he's fucking sucks. Hey, he's so hey, bad that he's embarrassing. If we can use the nepotism that way, I let it rock. But there's also someone else that could use that spot. That's very that's yeah, better I, than him I'm at basketball. Surprised, yeah, Keenan, I'm su- you have yeah, some, what are you talking especially about? when it comes to basketball. Than, that could. What be if right. that could have been your spot, and you know you're better than him but at basketball? Prob- statistically, probably not. You're right. Exactly. But they could be white. Keenan, just think of all the dudes <laughs> in the G League right now who could easily have a spot. Of mm-hmm. course. There's a nigga, like there's a nigga on the Bucks G League team right now that should that could be getting minutes, and he's but not even on the team because they have Thanasis. Being Be- asses, he's terrible. Because bro. they're throwing the ball out of bounds, the, dribbling off his own feet between his legs successfully one time, calling for the ball on the inbound when he's not a point guard. What? It, what the fuck? And then getting an eight second violation. Yeah, and then gets an eight second violation, and then the gets Nassis, the ball and throws it over the backboard like the nigga. The Nassis is good for morale. It's like a no, a joke. A just, that nigga is good for the spectrum. He's like the ass version of Jared Dudley. Not even no, because Jared Dudley can guy. shoot. Good locker room Jared, guy. Jared Dudley was actually serviceable. He was. He could shoot. He could start. Thanasis can do nothing. He Thana- can't do anything. Thanasis is by he far. His brother. He is by far the worst player to ever play in the NBA. No. Uh, uh, nope. If you look, at I'm it, not going to say he is the, the worst, worst player. I, I don't have if to, you go by era nope. and you go by <laughs> skill level, nope. he I, shouldn't be in the NBA. Nope. Everybody now is better, right? You remember Troy Bolkman? Every. Troy, huh? Troy Bulkman. I'm about to say Ronaldo Bulkman. No, Troy Bulkman. He's probably better than this nigga. Ronnie Torrio, t- better than him. Oh, of course. I would tell you like this. Everybody has, Everybody who has been in the NBA is better than Thanasis. <laughs> I'm going to tell you like this. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to say that definitively, but I would say this. If you could be- put together a, lo- a tape of a uh, low light reel. He only has low lights. He might have the worst looking one. Eh. He might have the worst looking. If everybody in the M- if everybody if everybody in the NBA now is better than what they were back then, that means this, there's a you know the skill gap is going up. <laughs> Therefore, he would have been shitting on Jordan back in the day. No, no, no. <laughs> Therefore, okay. it makes him the okay. worst nigga <laughs> <laughs> to he ever was play. Pooping himself on the court, Dookie. No, this nigga okay. dribbles off his own feet, bro. I don't think he can play in any era of basketball. Amen. He has no IQ. Mm. <laughs> he has no footwork. He has little hands. <laughs> he doesn't have a post move. He, he doesn't have a post memory. move that he can commit to memory. <laughs> if you leave him in a gym, he might he wouldn't score any points. Nah, I don't know who he said. What I think was they said that about, DeAndre, about DeAndre Jordan at the free throw line. You if you leave DeAndre Jordan at the free throw line in the gym by himself, he'd have three points. <laughs> he said if you Damn. locked him in the gym all night and let him shoot three throws in the morning, he had five points. <laughs> That's the Nassis. That's the Nassis. That's the Nassis. They need to take back everything they said about all the energy they gave to those niggas and give it to the Nassis. But it's not even worth it because we we know why he's in the league. Of course. Yeah. And it's bad. It's embarrassing. Yeah. His own teammates be laughing. Like, when he does something, the refs just look at the sideline. But it wasn't even like. And they look at the ref like, you know, you knew you'd have to call that. Like, he's a laughing stock. <laughs> Ass. He's a laughing stock. That would be a call just for him. Get that nigga out of the league, bro. He mm-hmm. does not. Uh, and I'm all for nepotism, but in this case, it's working against what it's for. You're supposed to, it's nepotism for the reason. It's qualified fault. people. It's mm, fault. No, that's not, not even nepotism. qualified. Just at least relatively like, eh. damn, nigga. Like that's part of the nepotism. You're yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately it is. But this is like the wor- one yeah, of the worst cases. Unqualified, yeah, but not grossly unqualified. That nigga looks like an alien Nepo- that just learned what basketball no, but like was. He Nepotism, looks like he should be able to play. Nepotism shouldn't happen with greatness. Huh? I feel like he's so, like, Giannis is so great. He took all the skill in the family. That's what happens. Uh, Don't you have, like, two, three other brothers? Jordan couldn't even nepotize they, them damn kids. They couldn't make the cut. They did not, they Imagine the how bad they are. Because three of them were in the league at one time. Yeah. Now it's just two. Mm-hmm. You know, they probably they probably told Giannis, yeah, we can't keep all your brothers. Pick your favorite. Pick your favorite brother. So he, he got the oldest one. He picked that, choice. He, he picked that pink lip well, bastard. One, <laughs> one, one brother goes, one brother comes on the Why? bus, and the other brother goes to the Nazis. Why? He said that. <laughs> <laughs> he said he kept him around because, you know, without him, he wouldn't have got into basketball. So he just. Uh, he picked a brother who can't live on his own. I mean, have him live with you, nigga. 
Exactly. He picked a brother who can't live on his at own. At this point, he's been in the league long yeah, enough, made enough money. He got enough <laughs> IQ to work at, to work, play basketball. He can't work a real job. You got him in commercials <laughs> now. Imagine, that, Giannis, that, that imagine, imagine the Nash is at Amazon. The Nash will be Come at Wawa. He doesn't have to be at Amazon. He has millions of dollars. The, the Nash is because at he's Wawa in the NBA. Big, big he, can't, he can't play at no level. He can play over in Greece, I'm sure. The no, he can only make ham sandwiches because the hot sandwiches are too hard. He can't work the microwave. No nigga who okay. dribbles, who no nigga who dribbles off their feet and can't make left-handed layups in the NBA can play at any. What you mean? Jalen Brown was just in a dunk contest. Jalen Brown is a max contrast player. Exactly, but what? he has no left hand and can't make left-handed layups. But he 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 put on a Michael Jackson glove and did a left-handed windmill. So like, see, I can use that, my. That's left just hand. dumb. Jalen Brown fuck. is good at that basketball. Thanasis is not. In the hoop. Yeah, Jalen uh, Brown yeah, can score fifty. Of course, yes. The Nassis will have 50. He might have 50 minutes. 50? 50 fouls. Uh, 50 minutes a week. 50 yeah. turnovers. 50 turnovers. Yeah. yeah. Get that no, nigga out like, of were you the league. About Jalen Brown, some of the worst dunks I've ever seen. In my Imagine life. they did this for football. He dunked, he dunked over a sitting, sitting. Kai Sinet. <laughs> he's he's a shorter nigga than that's me. Already 5'4, five, 5'5. Five, 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 <laughs> five, and then you four. made him sit down. <laughs> Generous, nigga. Bro. Doesn't matter. And and Kai Sinet is shorter than me. I'm like sitting down. Why didn't he just stand up? I saw. Oh, he was the same height sitting down to standing up. Oh, you. The height Did didn't move, the and he don't got a fat ass, so it's just—it's <laughs> not like he sat up high. Yeah, he just okay. sat lower. That's kind of crazy to say. What? No, nah, what did he do? Did he put his hand Nothing. on his shoulder? No, it was a like, regular. Did he need to lift no, off? He, it? Explain it. He he did that. At, so he he was supposed to do the uh, D Brown dunk where you know he can't see oh, the rim. Oh my god! But the god. thing is, he dunked it and it came down, looked like he was dabbing. It was like, Ugh. I'm like, nigga, no. Awful. They said he did the one dunk where the nigga did the, the South Alley hoop and then twerk. <laughs> <laughs> and then dunked. <laughs> I saw that. And I was like, "Oh, a little shot. dance move yeah, there." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> explain the dunk again. Just explain it. What was the glove dunk? Was that it? No, 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 no. no. no it wasn't it. Explain. So, the so the Kai Sinet dunk. He had Kai Sinet sit down and had Jason Tatum throw him a lob. Mm. Whole purpose of the dunk. He was supposed to catch the lob. He put have, the, have his eyes covered the entire time and dunk the ball. He got shook. But the thing is, his hand was all the way down, so he saw the rim. The entire time, then landed and went. Huh. He got scared. Yeah, uh, my man dabbed at the end of the dunk. And then, uh, is that when they booed him? They should have booed him off his first one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, they were, so that's confirmed. They were booing him, bro. Yeah, no, yeah, that's all video of them booing him. We saw a nigga jump over Shaq. Yeah. And then we watched him jump over Kai Sinet. Sitting, sitting down. down. Was that the best dunk? And the, he did the, like a the, the Shaq Didn't dunk. He just do a regular windmill. Yeah, yeah he, he did a wet, he did an in-game windmill. He did a regular left hand windmill. He did the Dominique. Uh, behind the back, like shit. That was a. It was a decent dunk. Every that nigga dunk in the NBA is doing that fucking dunk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every dunker can dunk. Like Every that. dunker is doing that dunk. True. So what was the best dunk that you saw? It was the Matt McClung. He jumped over the guy, caught the ball, let it go, caught it again, did a oh, reverse. Yeah. I think I did mm-hmm. see that. That's fire. Good dunk. Good dunk. Pretty fire. I'm like the creativity. Did yeah. Obi Toppin's brother had a good dunk and they? He did. He did. What did he do? Which one? I, for, I saw I saw a clip a of really it and I was like, oh, that's a good dunk. It was better than Jalen Brown, nigga. Everything was better than Jalen Brown's. <laughs> Jalen Brown should have made it to the second round. Who even let that nigga? They just offered him a number, I guess. It was like they're desperate like, for yeah. dunkers. They are desperate for people to do it. It's nigga, all LeBron's fault. Yeah, niggas don't. Honestly. It is LeBron's fault it, for never doing LeBron's it. LeBron's fault. Definitely LeBron's mm-hmm. fault. Yeah. But John, all he had to do was if he did it one time. One time. It's whoever the judge's fault who robbed Aaron Gordon. You think they robbed him? Yes. Twice. Yes. I rewatched it. twice. I rewatched it. It was robbed. It robbed twice. Okay, okay, hold on. Think about this. Still doesn't make sense. No, think no, about no, this. No, no, no. Think about this. Zach Levine was dunking through his leg, between his legs from the free throw line. Did you not see the mascot dunk with the? Do you know how far it is to dunk between your legs from the free throw line? Do you know how far it is to dunk from the free throw line between your legs? I will give you that, LZ. He didn't get robbed. I will give you that. He didn't get robbed. Yes, though. he did. No, he didn't. I'm gonna tell you why he got robbed. No, he didn't. If Zach Levine would have did that, that dunk last. Sure, but he did the, the, the between the legs from the free throw line, and then did a windmill from the free throw line. Yeah. Same shit. If he's dunking the, from the free throw line. If are we missing the between this? The legs can, is harder. Can, nobody can dunk from the free throw line. If That's the can, problem. If okay. You can do it between the legs. So we're, we're penalizing this nigga for doing shit that nobody else can do. You did a less difficult dunk. Aaron you did Gordon. Le- huh? Huh? Aaron Gordon's dunk. The first mascot one. Yes, where where the, where the mascot's mascot twirling. twirling. That was and great. He pulled that shit out his hand and did the cradle. I love it. He didn't get a fifty for it. I love it. He didn't get and robbed of the competition, though. He got robbed that's twice. Robbed. He didn't get robbed of the competition. He no, he got robbed the second time for nigga, sure. That's a 50 dunk. Eh. The nigga is tw- you, 
they, and he did it on first try. That's fine. But Zach Levine, when he did the windmill, he jumped from further. Are we like what? What? What do we? He did a less difficult dunk. From further away, he dunked from where nobody yeah, else can dunk from. Why are we penalizing for the infinite? timing? These niggas had to do the mascot. Why are we penal- How is he getting penalized for doing some shit other niggas can't do? Which creativity? You you just you don't need creativity when you can jump from the furthest away into a fucking windmill. And then the other what the, the other, fuck? The other mascot nigga, yeah. dunk. He, between the niggas yeah. didn't even do between the legs. That other regular. mascot dunk. I forgot what was the other one. He jumped over him. Oh like yes, his legs. Hey, <laughs> mess. My man went full clean. Full body over that was the- and that was fire. Great dunk. Loss. And that was fire. Loss. Yes. But Zach had other fire dunks too. It and was he didn't get year. robbed. He didn't get robbed. He just lost back to, to a, a nigga who was doing robbed. some crazy shit he too. He got robbed the no, same he way. He got robbed because they gave the score. Those are fifty dunks. They didn't give him fifties. And then they robbed uh, Andre Iguodala. They too. robbed, they robbed Andre Iguodala too. Because yeah, Nate Robinson did. tried that dunk fourteen times. I, I will never like forget. Fifteen years ago, but <laughs> also Nate Robinson needs a kidney. I don't know if y'all knew that, but he's yeah, his kidney's failing. Yeah. Damn. Sorry. Bless his heart. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a good time to bless his heart. He don't need his heart. <laughs> bless his kidney. Bless his Damn. kidney. Damn. Come on. Prayers <laughs> up for the bull. That's a, yeah, he get but yeah, no, the All Star All Star weekend has been in, in in shit since. Kobe. Yeah. Since, Kobe. since Kobe. Who won the three point competition? Dame. Dame did two years in a row. Huh. Because Dame, Dame's that guy. Good that shooter, was. Good I, I saw. I saw clips of that. That was cool. Nah, it was. I, cool. You can't really fuck up the three point competition. You, no, you and they made four, it. They made it better with that extra shot too. So. You had four people that got the exact same score, so it's like mm-hmm. motherfuckers was out there shooting. Yeah, and even the girl uh, Sabrina, right? Yeah, yeah, Sabrina. That's cool. And then Steph Curry came out there. And then you got a big test. man in it who can actually shoot. You know Ooh, what I'm saying? Cat. Okay. okay. He won it. The, La- not yet. Ago? Last year, the year before. Yeah, year before. Mm-hmm. So. So what was the Sabrina versus Steph? What it was that? So it's because. Uh, during the All Star game for the WNBA, Sabrina had the highest score. She only missed one shot. Damn. So mm. sh- she you was have like, no choice but to make this woman. Play so she was minute. like, <laughs> "I think I could be Steph." So she did that last summer. They brought it into the league, and she got the exact same score that everybody else got prior to Steph. Steph just came out just like, <laughs> squap, 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 squap. She only lost by three points. Yeah, she yeah, only she, lost by three points. Yeah, he only made one more shot. She I think. she had twenty. Six, I think he had twenty nine. Yes, that's what happened. Yep. Yeah, mm. but then you got Kenny Smith saying, "Well, why don't she shoot from the women's three point line? Because she can do it from the men. She's doing. She can do it from the men. I mean, I see what he's saying though. For what? Because that's where her sport is played from. For what? Because that's where the line she's is. Making them. no, she shoots from the w, shoots from the NBA from line the NBA in the line. WNBA. <laughs> Sure, she but had the same amount of points as the niggas in the three point contest. Yeah, now, yeah, what would but be he's crazy saying for her. If, if fucking lights would have went low and then Caitlin Clark just would have appeared out of nowhere and said, <laughs> "Okay, Let's then get niggas would have had a problem." Let's get it because she shoots from the logo every time. Every time, <laughs> she well, broke the record from the logo. Next year, bro. Mm. Next, well, not even Elliot. Oh, yeah, this is her, her senior year, right? They mm-hmm. they they brought up a thing that was like, or she's trying to be a grad student. Though. Maybe we should have the t- the top women shooters versus the top men shooters and do it that way. Yeah. Why not? Like like Sabrina said, yo, if you can shoot, you can shoot. Does that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah, you can shoot, you, you can shoot. Yeah, shooting is an, it, that that re, that doesn't depend on athleticism. Mike is shooting his tongue so hard. I don't think he is. I I think if, if there's a if there was an aspect to do it, that would be the one to do it. Mm-hmm. It's not like you're gonna have a dunk contest. Yeah, right? that's the only that's the one that's yeah. that's it. You that's can do the, the skills competition you can do too. The skill competition. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Michael, it's the same shit. Mm-hmm. It's just passing. It's passing, shooting, layups, dribbling. I, I the only issue I have with that is because like the speed and athleticism they like, don't be the, running they don't run fast the dribbling they don't run fast none okay. of the people that do it are really sprinting yeah okay okay it's women not like e- a old way women could easily really used to they be. do it in college they do it like that they have teams and it's women and men's mm-hmm. and they're all moving at the same pace some of the women are moving way faster than the men because they're smaller mm-hmm. low, low to the ground so Kenny Smith was wilding all night what was he even saying he was about the the Mexican boy he was like what's all this Mexican stuff oh <laughs> shit they gave him drinks. <laughs> He did something. He, he probably was. Cinco de Mayo. Oh. It's February. Oh, Jamie Haquez. 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 Have you said that? Jaime Haquez. Jaime Haquez. Jaime. Was he out there? What was he doing? I think he was in he, the dunk contest. He was in the contest. Oh, yeah. what did he do? He jumped over Shaq. He jumped over Shaq, no, too? No, Diallo jumped over Shaq. Who? Yeah, Shaq was out there like three, four times. Everyone's jumping over Shaq? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I'm no, tripping. he jumped over Shaq. Shaq was out there well, no, 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 a that was, that, was a, that was a different one, right? The nigga Diallo? Oh, also. Yeah, that was a different Matt one. Matt McClung did it. He Got two people. Well, he just could have got Shaq. Yeah, he had. <laughs> he got two people. He, he had some guys standing in front of Shaq. Shoulders. But the thing is, when Matt McClung dunked over Shaq, 
he cleared him easy. Like no touch of Shaq. Like like there was no balls on the back of Shaq. He cleared him easy. I saw someone saying, someone complained saying, when he grabbed the ball, he had more momentum. Like he pushed off using the ball and instead of like pushing it. off all his body. His body. I was like, ah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. But it, he but still cleared him. Still got to be able to still do gotta it get well. up there. Yeah. <laughs> still got to get up there. Yeah. Mm. But yeah. Did you watch the actual? Anybody watch the actual game? I did. Nah. Jennifer Hudson did some songs that nobody ever heard of. <coughs> yeah, Damn. I don't even know why they had Jennifer <coughs> Hudson doing that shit. Mm, um, was, I I don't know what the song was. I'm like, yeah, yeah, she was the halftime show, right? She was the halftime what show. What the fuck? She was sounded it? good. I'm sure sounded she sounded good. amazing. It was, but um, it was a good show. But I was walking out the house and I saw the score. They had somebody had 99 at halftime. I said, oh, <laughs> I'm, out. I'm out. I'm good. Yeah. Didn't hey, even man. think twice about watching that. Shit. That's elite basketball right points. there, huh? I think they had like 211. I'm yeah. good. Wow. I'm good. That's how I know niggas are just not even like trying. Points. They're just, it's all f- hey, man. fast. It's slow breaks. And it's just niggas just lobbing it and throwing it up the court. Oh, like, it's it's boring breaks. basketball. Dame just pulling up for half court just because he can. Yeah. Squap, squap. Tyrese Hallenberry had 15 points in two minutes. Yeah. It'd be a lot more fun to watch them actually try. Exactly. But they're never going to. They just got point. the I best mean, of the league. They tried going. a couple years ago. A few years nah, now. Like now the, these niggas. Now these niggas. In in their minds, they make way too much money to try. The last time they actually really tried was the year Kobe died, and they did the whole the fourth quarter. Two versus two. Or two versus twenty four points. I thought they still did that. They don't. Nah, this year it went back to east versus west, four quarters. Everything was. Ah. Uh, yeah. Nobody was trying. And Edwards said before the game, he's well, like, "I'm shooting to, everything they had in my to life." Do that because Gianna's dumbass was picking dumbass teams. Hey, that's his fault. That was his <laughs> fault. <laughs> He was picking the worst teams. But also, he was getting outpicked by Legion. Mm. <laughs> Nigga, Bron's tough. first pick was like Embiid every time. <laughs> <laughs> Embiid. Let me get Embiid and Steph. We win. Yeah, then that's what happened. Nigga, that's what he was doing. He's like, oh, let me get Embiid, Steph, <laughs> and, then, and then Giannis would be like, James Harden. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Middleton. I'm saying, are you sure about that? Uh, Chris Middleton. That nigga, what? <laughs> Is Brooke Lopez an all star? <laughs> like, no, Giannis. Can I pick? Can I pick my brother? No. Tony Roten. No, Tony. <laughs> Tony Roten. Nah, they don't. Hey, T. Roten was nice. Yeah. Uh, elite, elite, yeah, player anyway. that, elite player that man. Anyway, so, had, yo, I was gonna say, but the all star game. Did, Ty, did Kai Sinat like replace the Kevin Hart no. boy? Kinda. No. I think he's hilarious though. I, I think he was. He, was trying. he he didn't he was get trying? enough screen time to. He didn't get enough. That's on. I think that's on no. Shannon. Then they not giving like the ball. Shannon enough? was like trying to win. He only played like a few minutes or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I think like Shannon was like playing the shot of him. Yeah, which was like, yo, this is I like the celebrity all star. They're like not one of him. Uh, he didn't see him. He didn't. Shannon didn't see him as a celebrity. Like who is this? Name? No, no, it, no, they were Shannon playing like it was like a basketball no, game to win. Oh, shit. like Micah Parsons. Yeah, then. didn't he have thirty seven? Dork. Yeah. He's a yeah. They were. Dude. I can't stand that nigga. Damn, they're doing a lot. Micah Parsons. Parsons on the Cowboys. Yeah, let the hate out. He's in a celebrity all star game, fucking running full speed, bro. You're in so the NFL. Miles Garrett. He, yeah, another, dork. Another, yeah. Another Do you Relax. know who he's a dork? Another, he another he dork. just named another dork. <laughs> Thanks. So it's T.O. Yeah. <gasps> another dork? Yeah. Okay. So athletes <laughs> doing an athletic thing, dorks. Okay. These niggas are running doing full speed. They're doing it versus celebrities. And women. You're doing it against Running models, full speed, nigga. dunking. Nigga, sir was out there dreaming. Streamers. <laughs> they they <laughs> were. They Sir, were, they, weren't out there. Ah! Through, they weren't running through people. He's doing Euro steps. I saw a picture. I He's mean, doing a video. Euro steps against R&B I saw a video of Michael Parsons. Michael Parsons was out there running a four three, sprinting. I'm like, is this with yeah. a headband on? I'm like, this nigga, bro. They showed his stat line. I was like, is he serious? Uh, he was very serious. <laughs> Try hard. Thirty-seven <laughs> points, thirteen rebounds, three what assists. The fuck? That nigga was. That nigga probably. And was... I know he went on his podcast. Like, yeah, I know y'all seen what I did on the court the other day. <laughs> Shut up. Fucking weenie. <laughs> yep. Hey, let my man rock. Here. Speaking of weenies, you want to talk about Pause. the uh, teacher getting docs? Oh yeah. Because uh, she was playing with weenie. No. 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 I mean, he's gay. Uh, Ah, you assume that. Ah, we don't know this information. We don't know. So you yeah, know t- tell me more about this. <laughs> so <laughs> any, Trump any, uh, any uh, oh, uh, it's a it was a, a dude on TikTok. I think his uh, at name was Kubiski. Um, basically, he's a teacher, educator, and I guess he he's been in like the in the spotlight for a couple times, like about how. 
his uh, airing out his grievances with, with children and education and you know his gripes of how these kids learn and maybe like parenting and this is school system education system in general mm-hmm. and he's recently come under fire for I guess a video of him it's basically a video of him talking to the students and talking about how like yo essentially basically like yo we are in middle school and we can't identify shapes Oh. Everybody in this class, with the exception of about five students, cannot identify shapes. We can't even. Begin. What does he mean by shapes? Like triangles and squares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Triangles, That's what he squares, said in the video. Like doesn't know if we cut this square in half, what is it gonna look like? Things like that. Like he's basically oh. saying, like, yo, we haven't even gotten to the actual math of the situation. Like, I can't tell you to find the area of a square if, if you, you can't even, even know tell me what a square is. You yeah. know what I mean? Like. They can't get into area and perimeter, diameter, all the types of shit mm-hmm. because they don't know Hot that. Pints. And it's basically, she's like explaining that to like, yo, like, like, yo, this is where we're at right now. And this is not okay. But I guess a lot of people have a problem with, you know, the way he's, because he's talking to the kids, number one, like that. He was talking Wait, to him like recording they're... himself talking yes. to the kids. Yes. He recorded like, himself. You can't see the kids, but... but he's recording himself okay. talking to the kids. But the the problem I had with it, like, and I, I see why people are upset, but I and also I understand where oh, he's coming from. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right. And so a lot of people have an issue with how he's talking to kids or whatever. You know, people are saying like, yeah, he doesn't really know what he's talking about. He doesn't know like he's not a good enough teacher. Like he's not teaching these kids right, or he doesn't know his math theory. Blah blah blah. And people have gone as far as to like try to dox him and put his information out there, try to get him fired from his teaching role. And that's kind of where the discussion is right now. Mm-hmm. So what were you going to say? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, I understand. Like, I, I see why people might be upset because the, oh, I'm sorry, the tone that he had when he was talking to the kids, like he was talking to the kids, like he, like they were just dumb, mm-hmm. like trying to embarrass the kids. And on one hand, I get it because like, if you're teaching kids who should know that, or you feel like they should know that, then I see why he's frustrated. Right. But when you let your emotions get the best of you, you're in a classroom like that, not the best look. Right. Also not the best look when you record yourself doing it and then say, this would be a good idea to post it. Mm-hmm. Strange. I, not the best but move. Yeah, not everything, and, and I don't know why, not everything needs to be recorded. Mm-hmm. And he mm-hmm. did this shit to himself. Mm-hmm. That's why I can't, like, when something like that happens, like, oh, he's getting doxxed. Well, we wouldn't know about the shit if he didn't fucking record it. Yeah. Now, is it fully, like, they don't know what a square is or they're having issue like they're difficult having difficulties knowing what a parallelogram is no he was saying that y'all don't know what a uh, heart thing. looks like y'all don't know what a triangle like he was saying stuff like that like things like say like if I cut this squ- rectangle in half vertically what am I looking at like they don't know shit like that okay. and these are like middle like 7th 8th grade that's a <laughs> I was like you look at me like I'm like, you know the answer. You right? was trying to shoot him bail, and then you heard him like, oh. I was like, wait, you know the answer. <laughs> These motherfuckers is real. Nah, yeah. And that's yeah. the thing, like, and then I looked at it as, like, well, he could just teach them these things. Yeah, but, but I mean, if that, they're not retaining it, and if they're not, nah. if they come into class talking crazy, and they're just acting like they know everything, I think that's what don't. it is to him. I think it's like, like because I, I know kids, like, because, first of all, I you hate kids. kids. I hate kids. I, I hate them. I hate them so, so much. So we have to remember facts, that. Facts, like, facts. I had to remember that. Yeah, remember I, why I you say that. <laughs> children of all types. Um, all, all creeds, colors, all, all denominations. Creeds, that's just one thing. I don't care if you're white, black, yellow. If you are under six, the can man. If you're under 22, I fucking hate 22? you. 22? I hate you. Damn. I, you. I say 25. But really 20. Damn. Really 25? You got to rent a, yeah, be able to rent a car? you can't rent yeah. a car, I fucking hate you. And it's, well, it's 25 or 26. 25. 25. Raise it to 26, 25. please. If you're still on your parents' insurance, I hate you. Ah, damn. <laughs> there you go. There you there go. go. You hated me for most of my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, yeah I mean, I only started fucking with you. We all just. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So, that's we're true. all only five years old in Mike's eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obviously. He's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> But, like, I think we know how kids used to be because we used to be them kids. Not us personally. But right. You see them kids, how they act, and there's only more of them now. Mm-hmm. So, like, I think it's more so, like, all right, you don't know what you're talking about or you don't know shapes and colors or whatever, but you come in here acting like you somebody who knows their shapes. Like, I just can't fathom you acting crazy. Like, nigga, you don't know shapes, my nigga. Yeah. How dare you? You don't know. You can't read. 
You can't yeah. read. But yeah. but that's nigga, I tell you to write an essay, you say because B C U Z and be dead ass. Like I, I see the teacher like on TikTok saying like yo, mm-hmm. they'll write essays and write because B C U Z and look at you like what's wrong with that? Yeah. Nigga, what? But that's the old that's kind of the issue. Like those are like foundational things that you should be taught before middle school. That's, that's what I'm saying. That, yeah. So that I understand. That's, the system. that's why he's like could be it, like upset. That's the system. Yeah. Like, but yeah, they got like, system. Like, how are these kids getting passed? And then that's what I'm thinking. That's what <laughs> that's I think when I problem. hear when I hear somebody says, "Well, just teach them, just teach them." What do you mean, just teach them? I gotta go back to the basics. Myself. Because I here's have, the thing: like, we have they to start have from they have a zero. curriculum that yeah. they have to follow. They can't if they have to go back four years. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. They'll never get to where they need to be. Yeah. So you can just say, just teach them. Just it's too just much to do teach. your job. What yeah. the fuck do you mean? <laughs> the other people didn't the do last their job. Six years didn't do Somebody their job. Didn't do their job yeah. So now I got to inherit seven years of shit, and I got to teach them the back shit, and somehow in a miracle mm-hmm. get them caught up to this. It's impossible. Did y'all see the story that was on? It was either I saw it on TikTok or Instagram, where the kid went through four years of high school. And then came came to graduation, and they said he can't graduate; he has to start all over. Mm-hmm. That's because he's been failing every year. But every year, the next year, they put him into the next class. So like he failed math one on one, and then sophomore year they put him in math one hundred two. Why? And the mom is like, the school failed us, failed him because why? Would, if if they keep putting him in the next grade, oh, they just I'm, didn't want to deal with anymore. I'm thinking that everything is fine. But then I'm like, that's a combination because. You should also be still seeing your kids' grades. Yeah, yeah, right. And then, Par- parents be putting too much shit just on the teachers. teachers. Yeah. No, you need to parent as well. No, this Parenting, is, this is like com- schooling, this is combination comes inside of the house as well. It I'm, does. I'm gonna tell you this right here, also. But they passed uh, this kid just because they didn't want to deal with him anymore. Yeah, no, just for him to have to that, do it all. For yeah, that, that's the part that doesn't put him make in sense. a harder class. Sense. Just for him to fail that too. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, he oh, was, wait, we'll start he was, over from now. Nah, he was failed by everyone grade. around him. And that's what I feel yeah. like. I feel like. It takes, it takes a everyone village, right? It as takes wrong, a village. As wrong as it may seem. The village filled him. I feel like embarrassment is a good tool to inspire you would want to learn. Because that, you know. Nah. It, it doesn't work for everybody. It doesn't work for everybody. But I feel like it's an option. It I depends on like, who you're talking to. I feel like, mm-hmm. like, yo. You see you are in freshman math. Right. You're with a bunch of young bulls. Right. And you're a senior. And you're a senior. That don't do something to you? Nope. Yeah, but the I mean, that was day. a problem because he didn't, he wasn't in that class as a senior. He was with his same classmates, just yeah. failing. Just failing. So that's yeah, the problem. Yeah, like, I just and feel getting like. getting through. Like, even if he was a, if he was a, let's say, a sophomore or even a junior in that first year class, he probably would have been like, damn, why am I still in this class with these yeah. kids? But they kept moving him up. Trying to learn the same thing that yeah. I've been trying to learn for the last two years. They gave that kid no sense of urgency. Yeah, it's like, what's, what's like what is the urgency? And I feel like, man, I think, like, was it wrong to record it and post it? Yeah. But I feel like he was just a, way well within his right to actually say what he said. Yeah, you you're all you're all yeah. There's yeah. nothing because yeah. that's but, just a real talk. I don't think that was emotional. I think that was just a real frank like. Listen, no, I think that's okay. You are yeah. not like that's y'all got to understand like y'all are not, and we're not talking about these are like six seven year old. These are like twelve thirteen. They're getting to the age where they get it. Like where it's mm-hmm. like my nigga, y'all aren't up to par where where y'all need to be. Like it's about to get spooky for y'all. Yeah. If y'all don't get right, and I think that's the message he was trying to convey. Yeah. It's like, yo, y'all need to get right because where are y'all going? How y'all going to live? True. We're not talking about trigonometry. We're talking about shapes. You got to know shapes. And, I, and I'm and i 100% with that. But once you record it, you put yourself out there to be judged I by everybody. You. But I feel like uh, I think a lot of people that are doing the judging are the people who never who, worked who in that. never worked in that field yeah, and I mean. are either people who never worked in that field or don't understand or it. people that don't understand it, or parents that don't understand it because there's a lot of parents is like that's y'all kids and it's like y'all want to talk about these teachers what are y'all doing at home with the kids not a damn thing and i see that not a damn thing cuz my sister is a teacher and she be telling me like yo she has she's had like a, a, a a, a myriad of grades, but I think 
I think right now she was with like third and fourth graders. Mm -hmm. She told me these little motherfuckers cannot read. Ah. They can't read. They cannot read. Like, mm. they can't spell their own name. That's a problem. Yes. Yes. But, but they, but like these kids, like, it's a disconnect because like, and these kids is in the hood. Like these hood kids, like, so they really got an extra level of like, they mm -hmm. got to grow up quick, grow up quick. Like it's not. They don't have that grace of suburban kids where it's like, yeah, dang, like you, you have need resources. To, There's no resources like yeah, that. Yeah, you need to grasp this. You either got to grasp it or you're fucked. Right. You know what I mean? And it's like, the kids can't spell their name because, like, they just, it's, it's not, they can't read. They can't do anything. But, like, mama can't read. Mama can't read. Mama don't give a fuck, though. That's what that's, that's, that's Mama what come through. If she comes through, if she comes through, well, why don't my baby know this? That's a lot of that. You tell me. You tell, but but you the teacher. Like that's what happens. That's what happens. Yeah. And it's like, it is a disconnect. And it's a disconnect because they don't get it. It's like they don't understand the situation they're in. And I feel like that's a way. It may, and I know it doesn't work for everybody, mm -hmm. but I feel like frankness and directness like that is like, yo, this is the way you get it. Like, yo, you trying to crack jokes you can't read right now. Yeah. yeah. And, and the thing is, I don't know if, if y'all were able to pick this up back when y'all used to work summer camps. You can always tell which kids had the structure in the house. Yeah. By, by the way of they course. act the, the moment their parent walks in the room. Mm -hmm. The moment their parents walks in the room, all of a sudden they, they jumping off walls, acting like asses. It's just mm -hmm. like, hold on. Now, what you're not going to do. Yeah. It's actually because your mom walked through the door. Because mm -hmm. she's not here for eight hours you're here. Yeah. But, it, hey, crazy. Some kids act better when the parents, when the parents not aren't there. There. Yeah. Because they know. Because if, that's if why I'm I, saying. If, that's I, why if, I, I if my mom is here and she's not going to say nothing, then really what you going for? These exactly. kids is kids and they don't understand shit. These kids be knowing, bro. Yep. They know. No. They notice when it comes. I'm talking about when it comes to like. They know how to get know how to get yeah, over no, on shit. I, I got you. That like that. Like they know when my mom's here, I can do whatever the fuck I want because my mom's gonna ride mm -hmm. for me no matter what. Cause I'm her baby. Yeah. Right. I'm her now, baby. I was um I was doing a pair of professional shit and I I had to substitute at uh at Lev nah, was it Levitt? I think it was Levitt. One of the schools in Borough. Some school, yeah. And it was uh Fifth grade class, fifth or sixth grade class, but some of them were like thirteen. Excuse me. Yeah. Wow. Like teenagers in that class. I've never seen that shit in real life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, so to see that, but these kids had like be behavioral issues too. Some of them weren't as bad as the others, but the ones who were the loudest were the ones who knew the the least. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know how so, you, you know how you get through to those kids. You embarrass them. You embarrass them, little motherfuckers. So you know what happened? This one girl, <laughs> this one girl, she okay. was talking crazy to the teacher, uh -huh. and the teacher was like, "I'm just gonna call your mom." Her mom came in there, and I ain't never seen a child so scared when her her mom walked into the classroom and just embarrassed the shit out of her in front of all the other kids. I'm I'm a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. She didn't give a fuck about. But like Keenan says, yeah. Like so, sometimes the structure is there when the parents there. Sometimes it's not. But in this case, I don't know what the fuck was going on. I mean, every she's, situation is different. You so. know what I'm saying? She but had the freedom out, but, outside of the house. So yeah, she was outside the house acting. Exactly. Ass. But when her mom actually pulled up to the school in her, it, that shit was no joke. In her out in her work clothes, ah. pissed. Mm. Why am she I had here? To come, to the, come to the school in scrubs? And, no, not even scrubs. I don't know if she. Ooh, nah, man, I don't know if she was a. Uh, she might have been like a security know, guard or something. Mm. She might have been like a security guard. I think she had on like some type of police attire. She something like her? that. She might as well had. Okay. <laughs> but it was one of those situations where it was like, yeah, like those are the kids you can end up like if you don't get your shit together. Like it was literally teenagers in elementary school, early middle school classes, mm. not knowing anything. I'm trying to teach you. I'm trying to teach. I'm not even a teacher. I'm like, yo, bro, you don't know how to and do I, basic and it, multiplication. And you're, wild you're, because you're, like, you're 13. And it's crazy because we used to be those kids that could see those kids that act up. Listen. <laughs> you see, we could do a tally. They're in jail. Of where them kids Thanks, are now. AJ. Well, one's definitely in jail. <laughs> uh, <I know. laughs> we, can, we can 
Like, oh, he ain't listening. But niggas won't get no, that until they get to listening. this age where it's like, that shit comes quick, bro. It comes quick, bro. That shit it comes quick. It, it is, it's and it's not a lot of time to be able to convey it. And now he might have got a little emotional. But I think it's because he care about the kids. And it's yeah. like, yeah, that's, no, yeah. That's I think it's all from a good place. And I feel like it's for their betterment. Mm-hmm. I think the only problem, and I really don't got an issue with it really, really what? bad. Recording? Him recording in person because you don't see the kids. Not at all. You don't, but I, I don't you, see it. But either. once you put it out there, you have to know, bro. Yeah. Somebody's not oh, going to yeah. agree with this shit. Yeah, sure, sure. Somebody's you got to know, especially as a somebody, teacher. You got to depend on somebody. That, like, somebody's going to take it and, like, their feelings. Honestly, I'm not, I'm not a fan of teachers doing that in the first place. What? Recording. What's going on in the classroom? Depending on the uh, the content of what they're doing, but you know what? Also, I feel like it's some good of school, to do some that of it, I'm because like, you could you can listen to these teachers tell their stories, and motherfuckers will not believe them. Like well, this is what I'm dealing with, type yeah. shit. This yeah. is what I'm dealing with, mm-hmm. and no, nah, and then like that's the only way they'll believe unless they, they gotta hear it or they gotta see it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And I feel like that's another way to bring awareness to the situation. Like, yo, I am. You could say all blue in the face. I got kids that don't know shapes, and they'll just say whatever, whatever. But until you see a man ask a group of children mm-hmm. what this is, and five of thirty-three have an answer, yeah. there was a teacher who came yeah. out. Uh, Hexagon. I want to say I saw this video maybe like a month and a half ago. He had really long locks. I forget his name though. But he was talking about how his kids just. It's like they weren't retaining anything because they weren't doing any homework at home. So it was like his his problem was not with the kids. It was with the parents. He's like, yo, I can't get through to these kids and I can't teach them anything because when they leave the classroom, nothing is done when they leave. Like, like he was on the verge. Of, out, he was on the out. verge of tears. It goes out. And that's like, I'm like, damn, yeah. bro. That's high schools I'm, now don't even give homework. Really? No. Mm. They don't do homework anymore. Man. Eh. I don't know, bro. I <laughs> think say, yeah, yeah. It's, I, it's, I, was, I think there's a really there's a really big attention span problem. It's deeper. It's deeper than. Definitely. Oh, it's like way. It's like way deeper than that. Definitely. I'm not gonna put on my tinfoil hat, but people's right, te- people's no, attention span. You don't have to put on. Tinfoil yeah, hat. people's it's attention blind. span is it's just not simple. what it used to be. Yeah. Niggas, little niggas got phones at three. At not three. Like like five. No, no. At, at three. Three. At Coming three. out the womb with a fucking tablet. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. tablet kids. Their brains are fried. Right. They can't figure out anything. My baby's so smart. Know how to work this tablet better than I do. Yeah. That's an issue. That's an issue. That's not. He's not smart. Autocorrect is an issue. That doesn't make him smart. Hey. Auto, no, nah, autocorrect. It, it saves. It saves us now, but, but yeah, you know, we grew up in a time where there wasn't autocorrect. Yeah, like we're that. We barely we're had like, the little fucking swiggly lines under the misspelled exactly. words. Exactly, we was still doing T nine. So like there was start, <laughs> certain stuff that we that we dealt with, but now True. we're on the other side. Where it's like right, I remember not having that. These kids don't remember ever not having. These shit. kids don't have to think no more <laughs> when they do homework, especially when you have to do homework at home. They don't have to with think. AI now. Why the fuck would I gotta write anything? I don't see. Yeah. Oh, I'm not big on writing anyway, but uh, okay. but we could, yeah. but we know how to write essays. Yeah, we had Every, to do we it. We had to do it. Yeah, I had to. I, oh my god, I had to type on a typewriter before in a class. Oh no, these that kids was a don't know how to formulate a proper ago. email. Yeah, we had to type on a typewriter. Yeah, they can't send a proper email. I don't think. Yeah, well, I mean, I think if I had to ask my what? niece to send an email, my how old are they? High school. I mean, my niece is 14. I think if I had to ask her, she email wouldn't. etiquette. Email what that jobs? You email a job? That's important. No, I didn't say it's not important. Like I don't, I'm not, a, I'm not surprised that a high schooler doesn't know email. doesn't know how to say hi, blah blah, blah comma. Sincerely, Sincerely, my name. name. How the fuck that? That's a problem. I I'm just saying, like I don't see any situation. When are they seeing in emails? Yeah, I don't know. That's what you should learn. Like you you need to learn how to do these things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We yeah. learn. You learn that in school, yeah, right? That when were school. we writing letters as children? I had a pen pal in third All grade. The time. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna, when did I learn real like pro, actual proper email? Like probably college. No. I had pen pals. Pen pals was Bro, the way we you learned, learned email etiquette. When you yeah, were practicing writing Anytime letters. Anytime you're writing. Yeah. That's like yeah. Yeah. writing a letter. Writing a letter that's, is email etiquette. That's email. True. These niggas don't write. They yeah. text. They probably do. But yeah, know. texting is different too. And then you got the word to text, uh, uh, speaks to text. So now that's you're just talking it. Yeah, you don't have to. Yeah. Yeah, you, don't have to mm. you don't have to think. Niggas' brains are a lot smoother now. I'm still thinking though. No, that's not thinking. It is. How? I feel like it's Speaking's using a different part thinking? of your brain. No. Why not? Because you're not when even... If I, when when no, I'm no, challenging no, no, no. Wait, you wait, wait. to write... Yes, but if it's just me thinking of the words and they come up on the screen and then I just have to go back and 
Because if but you're they can't. Sighted, they're doing that because they can't spell. No, no. no. Well, that's that why they're doing it. But if it's your Zion speech saying, like pattern <laughs> isn't proper to write, <laughs> it, right? It's not good. Oh yeah, that's that's different. Yeah. So if they're just speaking like they're having a normal conversation, that's not good writing etiquette. They don't know. Yeah, it's it not sentence structure, yeah. spelling, grammar, none of that. Fair enough. They, they got run on sentences. They don't want to write because they can't do it. I hate people. That they can't do punctuation. spell. Ugh. They can't. I'm about to stop, bro. Ugh. I had a f- <laughs> see people see if you pick up. I seen somebody do that the other day. My boy, he wasn't using no punctuation. I'm just saying, like, bro, please put a comma or a period bro, in here somewhere. I had to Lord. go on my tell about that shit years ago. Really? I'm like, my guy, put a fucking period at the end of your sentences. This is just one, just one. run on. <laughs> period, comma, know, something. Because in my head, you took no no breaks. <laughs> you took <laughs> yeah, every time I gotta go and I gotta go. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that nigga type texting like Busta Rhymes. Nigga. That's God why I'm damn. probably sure people know when it's me typing on the pod page or something. I always use punctuation, mm-hmm. bro. I can't help but I, use commas. Period. <laughs> I use commas, commas yeah, everywhere because you want to practice that. Why? When you're you don't want to break that habit. Yeah. When you. Exactly. Like I, just, I can't that's even help why it. I do it. I can't even help it now. I just that's just how I talk. That's how yeah, I talk. I probably I mean, use too many commas. Like, at this why point. are you using commas and periods? Like, because I don't want to break the habit. You know? Oh my gosh! Where did I see this at? I saw somebody say. I can't remember where I saw it. They said uh, somebody say that if somebody uses a period in a sentence, they think they're upset at them. Like if they use it, at, they put a period at the end of what they said. Uh, that depends. They on, think I, it's rude. No, I understand. Depends. I could understand that if it's just like. You're responding one word. It's okay, like period. no, okay, not period. one word, not word. one word. It's a sentence, with a, sentence. With, a with a period. With a period at the end of it. I saw somebody say like, if somebody says that to me, I'm not gonna lie. I in feel a text like text message. I feel like that's weird. That's, it could, you, you, literally press, you press the space bar twice. Period. It depends I just put a period the, at the end of my sentences. It depends on the, what the sentence, sentence is over. Is. Period. Yes. Pop pop. Yeah. Period. There's no. And so you don't break the habit. Yeah, I just that's okay. just how. Okay, yeah. I mean, listen. But if someone's because like, you're an adult. If someone, yeah, like, we're adults, right? Like, if someone's like, and you want to send emails out, LOL. I told you last week. Then it's LOL. I told you last week. Period. It's like, ooh. oh, you're overthinking. Ooh. Yeah, right. You're overthinking. Ah. I'm with you, Lamar. I'm like, you're hey, overthinking. Man, what I do? Oh, that's sorry. overthinking. That period slams on the screen like, no, that's <laughs> called overthinking. We're adults. They told you last week, didn't they? See. Period. LOL. Period. <laughs> LOL. Period. Smiley face. I don't know. People overthink yeah. that shit, though. But yeah, speaking of teachers, mm-hmm. in Catchy Diallo. You don't know in Catchy Diallo? You don't know in Catchy Diallo? Who's that? What is that? Oh, <laughs> shit. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the, the teacher formerly known as oh. Rachel Dolezal. Yo, this bro. bitch. I forgot she changed her name in, to in Catchy. In Catchy Diallo. Yeah, she's bitch, a joke, you bro. got me fucked up. She, yeah, she got fired, right? Was mm-hmm. it fired? Mm-hmm. She got fired mm-hmm. for having her OnlyFans. Now, we spoke, we covered hey, this before. Hey. Hey, we hey covered man, it you are hey. nasty black boy. History, we, you are we covered man. it, but it's Black History Month. My it was brother. Rachel Dolezal, not in Catch a Diallo. <laughs> now in Catch a Diallo, got some fire nudes. When I seen, <laughs> when I seen, you guys are sick. <laughs> when I seen the, when you I seen the sick. article, and the nigga used her photo, I was like, why is she? And then I read the, I was like, I had no idea she changed her name. I didn't until know I saw she it. changed her name. Yeah, but now nah, did y'all see? <laughs> what her nudes? <laughs> no. Did you not, she have I fire nudes before news. that? She got new ones now. It's not as bad as you think it would be. No, I mean, I saw, this I saw a picture. I didn't, I didn't know if it was real or fake. Who out? Who out? Was her parents that outed her or something? Like yeah, that? I'm pretty sure it was her yeah, family. Her she could have. Uh, she passed. She, she I, did I have you, you're in about the very in the things. very beginning. She did look like a black she woman. Looked like a black, I'm telling you. Like however she was pulling off that look, I you're know, like, oh, she's very just. I know she's a very fair skin. I know black women that look just like that. Look, just look like her. Look just like that. <laughs> so I don't think a lot of people question it. But once the her parents, <laughs> once her family once came her out, family I was like, was that like, bitch no. is white. Everybody <laughs> was like, oh, is white. And she still, they got to be some type of mental illness. Because she's still going well, along. She changed the name, name to Catchy Diallo. She's you gave yourself committed. an African name she's when you were from the, from the mountain of Caucasus. You fucking white bitch. And Catchy. And Catchy. And Catchy Diallo. And Catchy. Really? She makes, she wanted I thought it you to were be talking no about mistake. a soccer player just now. She I was wrong. I'm thinking the same thing. She wants like, to be South African Diallo. so fucking bad. I was like, he, what, did, what, did the, what did the Man United just sign him or something? Yeah, I'm like. Get him all alone like, from Sabia. I mean, <laughs> she do look like a fair skin. I'm like, is this is another thing in the dunk contest. I swear to God, every time I see her, because she she looks exactly or like what a scammer. Got catchy Diallo on loan uh, from Blackburn. My ex's mom, like she looks 
just like her. Yeah, because she like changed the texture of her hair and shit. Yeah, she had like, the, but even like her, her skin color. I mean, from the, from the neck down, those I mean, pictures aren't looking too it's, bad. It's, like, not, bad. Listen, has, it's not bad. Listen, and she has black kids that she adopted. So like, the you, material. She yeah. literally is. It's not with, bad. Let's see. Oh, you see it right from the neck down. I mean, I'm yeah. Not, listen, did you, did you, you got it on there? Yeah, right it's got the little little pictures. So I can't, can't see much. Yeah, yeah that, it's it's some work on yeah. there. Yeah. Listen, don't you but if you see this person that. and somebody was like, "Yeah, it's a black woman," you know who she was. You'd be like, "I say, like, oh, she okay, mixed, she, she just light skin. I know, I know, black she, people lighter than her. She a house. <laughs> is she mixed? Or she? Yeah, even yeah. she's mixed. She's still uh, like, yeah. The yeah. hair is that cra- picture reminds me of Tiny. So, bro, she kind of that was Maya Rudolph. That one was giving white woman. All right, that's nigga. Yeah, <laughs> bro, it's kind of crazy. Like, and then look up Maya Rudolph. Yeah, yeah, same thing. But Lighter than her. Same thing. Yeah, so. yeah. But mm. um, but yeah, but she got so fired. she got fired for having the OnlyFans. So yeah, do y'all think that's fair? Yeah. <sighs> Why? Because she's te- uh, around kids. And kids don't have access she's te- to that. No, she's teaching kids, so she should not. But kids like can't it's like have a moral. It's like part of. Morality of yeah, of teaching kids, kids and OnlyFans. Do kids don't have access to OnlyFans. Uh, you just kids have access to the internet. You They're think not her news to. are only on OnlyFans? It her, says eighteen. And, and her only. rebuttal to that would be, whose fault is that? Because that's not mine. That your child is on a website that they are not supposed to be on. No, the, they don't, the they don't have to be ain't on OnlyFans. Stop that, nigga. I was what's, watching porn since I was ten years old. They don't have to be on OnlyFans. What's the difference? No. Then, Wait, sorry. Hmm? What's the difference between them seeing her on OnlyFans and them seeing another woman that they don't know or they do know? What's the difference? It's not the teacher. It's yeah. not the teacher. But why? What's the difference? It's the teacher. There's no the difference. Teacher. They know once what the teacher, teacher looks not. like naked? Yes. Yeah, that's the difference. Yes, that's the but difference. whose fault is that that they can even have access to that? It's the internet. Yeah, you, you can, can you can limit your child's internet. You, you you you're try. a tech. You can put those news on Twitter. You can put that shit on Roblox. Yeah, you can put that shit wherever. Kim, Kim's news were yeah, on Roblox. Weren't internet. we just talking about how we can, couldn't have uh, San Andreas? Yeah. Wasn't that really easy for our parents to not do? Roblox is supposed that's, to, is, well, that's, is marketed towards that's children. Keeping, Nigga, that's yeah. like no, no, no. But hers is on no, 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 only And then, and then it falls on Roblox, Roblox for allow, no, But no, then no, that's, no, that falls no. on Roblox no, no, for allowing no, no. that, that is, to happen, that is right? A horrible equivalency. Yeah, that was, what, having what? a PS2 game on disc yeah, 15 fit, years physical, ago is way di- That's like telling kids not to have San Andreas now. Where you can get it on literally any device you could think of. Yeah, you can block a lot of shit. Yeah, you can say you can block anything. You can't have it. You can literally block anything. I had to change my setting on my somehow it got blocked to it was blurring images on my phone of memes. I had to unblock it myself. Well you understand how much harder that is to do? It's not hard because my phone did it automatically. I'm a grown ass man. It's, it's not it's, hard to do. It's a lot harder to even if it's not hard. We're all grown how here. Hard was if it we wanted you? to make everything a safety how feature, hard was you literally it for you do. to get sent address as a kid. I didn't have it. My friends had it. It'd be a lot easier for a kid to get sent address now. So even if you block it. Another kid can show because la- that uh, back in our day, all you had to do was like, "Oh, you're ju- I'm not taking you to the store." Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. But and, all right, and, I won't go to the store. And then, and I then, have a store here. I have a store because there. also I got a store. There. How are you going to get it as a kid? Okay, and then and then and then I can say if, if I'm because you don't have catchy a, Diallo, you don't have a job. I she could easily. I feel like she could easily say, "Well, if these websites aren't even supposed to be showing these things, and I'm not even putting it on there now, people are releasing images that are not." For them, well, you need, to and I'm getting to... fired for a, a website having all these things. Like, yeah, you can keep it OnlyFans, just don't be a teacher. Going. Some things just don't mix, baby. Sorry, yeah. mm-hmm. just, just don't be a teacher. Sorry, Fair enough. Sorry. Okay, I'm not. I'm not disagreeing. I'm just saying, I feel like there's a way that she probably could have fought that. Probably, especially when you put your things on a website where no, you where a child isn't even supposed to be near. I think at the the only age. Only school group that I think that would be acceptable that I don't think that you should be fought for is college. Okay. Everything else, sorry. Sorry, you got to eat that. You got to eat that. Eat that like you was eating them dicks on old Like Teachers couldn't even have fucking Facebook. Couldn't they have like be around meeting? red solo cups. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, like, well, you can't you be around a red be, solo cup. You, you definitely can't be sucking dick. Well, you, that's that's just wrong. But can't have I don't think she's on there. I don't think she's on there fucking. No, she probably just had news. This Bobby got the coochie open. Well, we'll yeah. see. I'm I just hope. saying. We'll find out. We live in a world. <laughs> I'm just saying we're in a world yeah, where that was a wild. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not. A, I was never a fan of that. Just the nah. The spread. Yeah, no nah, hell no. That's Please don't so spread aggressive. it. Like why do ah, I? Like, what am like, I getting off? Look at my hole. Ah, just looking at your hole. Yeah. Like ew. Like ew. Put that up. Yeah. <laughs> nah. 
Ugh. Sew that up. Like I don't want to sew <laughs> cover that, that up. up. Just don't sew it up, please. <laughs> sew it up. <laughs> sew it up. Sew it up. I don't, don't want to see that shit. <laughs> Needle and thread. Sew hey, it up. I don't, don't want to see your actual Yo, birth canal. Show, show that shit is not sexy. Show that gape up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 see, why is it open it like that? Close, close the. Oh yeah. <laughs> see your fucking. Just, may I take your hat, sir? <laughs> may I take your cot shirt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was never. Get this that. hand puppet show the fuck out of here. She was smart though. She can, you know, parlay this to a adult career. We know she's not sure smart. Sure, if she though, wants. So. Um, mm. We know she she's can, not smart. She, she, See what she does. She can be on black. But you know the real problem was with her. That's her yeah. life dream. You know she the real. Make, she could. Yeah. That'd hey. be her lifelong dream. That's probably what she <laughs> wants to do. She could make a killer. I want. You know di- what her problem if that was Disney though. Disney girl can do it. Who? The chick from Boy Meets World. Who? Huh? I, we talked about this. The girl from Boy Meets World, the blonde uh, from uh, Eric's girlfriend. Don't remember. And she was in White no. Chicks. Yeah. She's, a, she's a porn star now. Uh, oh, good for her. Love what that were you going to say, Elsie? I was going to say the problem with her originally. Remember she was she was working for the NCAAP? Right? Yeah. NAACP. 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 NCAAP. Thanks, Keenan. No problem. <laughs> NAACP. Got you. And how she was doing a lot more for black people than niggas. What does NAACP stand for? National Association of African American. Oh, no, no, no. National, National people. For colored people, something that advanced National yeah. Association for the Advancement of Advancement, yes. Yes, yes. No, gotcha. I saw a thing. They were asking some black people that, and they, some mm-hmm. black kids, they didn't know that. Eh. You saw the dude on Twitter who was mad that there was a black national anthem? They just don't just. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people are mad about bro. that, yeah, but. Man. Just get in the booth, bro. They it got one. It who? It's called the National. Nah, he was like, he was like, how come Asians and, and Mexicans and. Oh, won't well, get in the booth. I'm sure they probably do. That shit probably ass. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. They probably have, but also black people because <laughs> Mexico called, has a national anthem. It's called Jenny from the Block. Yeah, Asians have a national anthem. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. It's called Jenny from the Block. So we need the black national anthem. Yeah, actually called Gasolina. No, nah, we don't really. <laughs> but I barely want to listen to the national anthem. Yeah. 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 I'm not trying to listen to lift, what, lift every voice and sing. sing. Yeah, it's a long song, yeah. very long. Song. Oh, I mean, all black people. I, now, we, we, the, I think we did that on the episode before. How I far just, we can sing it. I just want to watch the fucking game. Yeah, you want to rock? Mm. I don't care about this. Buddy, yep, yep. Mm. Uh-huh. I see. What else? Where is that? Mm. Uh, yeah. Wait, you watch her black? That hmm. episode? Would you watch her black? Yeah. Hell yeah. Didn't even know this shit existed. Absolutely, I would watch that. When you're talking about in Catchy Diallo's theoretical episode, if she were to do one, mm. uh, absolutely, I'd watch that. <laughs> for would sure. you pay for it? <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, pay good, for good, no, good, good, good. All right, we're all I'll on the same page. It'll, it'll, yeah. it'll be on Reddit a week later. Don't worry mm-hmm. about that. Or not, the same day. Probably not even that late. It'll be on Spank. <laughs> same day. Yeah. Speaking of Reddit, y'all seen uh, the dude from uh, Hot Ones? The oh, girl? yeah. We could, I guess we could talk about that real quick. You want, that was weird. Yeah. That was weird. You want to go into the next one weird? We <laughs> nah, we could talk about it. It was weird. weird. Okay. It but fun. he, I, I guess I could understand. Explain the situation. So he was dating a porn star. I can't remember her name. Let's let's not. Let's not. Adult actress, or yeah, adult. she's a fucking porn star. Bro. Uh, porn star is a stretch. Yeah. Why? 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 I saw her getting fucked no by porn, two niggas. No, the the thing of porn star is like like big, like it's supposed, like every. Oh, she's every not girl, a star. Every That's girl is a saying. fucking. I'm not ranking. She porn a porn stars. bitch. She's a porn yeah. star. She does porn. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Adult film actress. Porn Anybody star. Who gets fucked on camera is a porn star to me. Anyway, she's a Fair porn enough. star. Uh, so the dude from Hot Ones was dating her. For a very short period of time, somehow it became public information because, or not even somehow, they went to the Super Bowl together. Mm-hmm. So they were seen out there, and then news came out that they were dating each other. I can't, mm-hmm. I can't not remember her name to save my life. It's important. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So we didn't even say his name. That's why said So hot then, hot ones. Oh, sorry, MJ. Lisa Ann, she's a porn star. Oh my god. Okay. This a fucking oh freak. boy. <laughs> her name is Melissa Stratton. Melissa for the Stratton. Record. Yeah. Um, so then Adam 22 comes out. Fuck that guy. First he of all. comes out. Yeah. Fuck Adam 22. Ultimate cuck all the time. He comes out and pretty much tweets. Congrats, bro. Her pussy's fire. Right. And then he doubles I, down and makes a video. I didn't see that. So he made a video. So he tweets. No, 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 no I'm, I'm getting up the timeline. He tweets that. And then news comes out that they break up. Because now it's public knowledge that he's he's dating a porn star, right? Mm-hmm. Adam twenty two tweets that like, hey, everybody's fired, da, da, da. and then he makes a video like, man, I don't know why you're ashamed to be dating a porn star. Da, 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 da. She had no problem coming over, and then he's like, kind of like just rubbing it in really bad, really in a very lame way, by the way. 
You know why? You know why he's ashamed because of niggas like you yeah. that made him ashamed. Also, not not even I. Don't, I just don't think you're he talking. To be a, a, you're talking. He don't want to be a public cuck. Yeah, because you know why he's ashamed because you made him ashamed when you literally talk about. Oh, I was fucking her all types of which ways. Her pussy's fine. Saying, like, pussy, yeah, yeah. No, that would be ashamed. You yeah. created. You are why he's ashamed. But yeah. also, he knew what her job was. Yeah, you know yeah. that you're yeah. dating a porn. You're yeah. dating a. a yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're be, you're dating yeah. a, a can, adult, a, yeah, adult fucking star person. Yeah, whatever the adult fuck. Adult entertainer. Mm-hmm. You're, yeah, an adult entertainer. You know what comes with that. So when people find out, you know people are gonna find out. Tricks that she was doing. Like, you knew. You knew. Before you knew. That. Yeah, yeah, she was getting fucked. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You probably dated her. Yeah, she... and that's what. And that's what Adam. That was kind of. That was kind like of her. his point. But hearing that from somebody who's as lame as that nigga. It just makes it all way worse. Yeah. So I understand. That I nigga, get why. That nigga enjoys being a cuck. Yeah. Like, he, he gets off on that at some point. Yeah. yeah. That nigga had a whole fucking re- fake reality show about well, who's going to fuck okay. his wife. Fuck him. That's and, and then the dude that the, won, wasn't he like, doesn't he have like a case or something like that? Wasn't he, he like he's a, a porn star. I don't know. He a porn nigga. Yeah, but I'm saying he was a. Probably. He's a known nasty probably, nigga. Like, probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Probably. It's Adam 22. That's Everything's like on the table. A, that's right. like his thing. No, I'm talking about the dude that won the competition. I'm just saying. Yeah, like, just he, saying it, it's Adam 22. associated yeah. with so. a nasty nigga is not Very true. foreign to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Same nigga that did not get Crip Mac out of jail. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> fuck him. Crazy. Well. But yeah. Yeah, fuck all of them. I don't know. I just thought that was interesting. Like, he was he was like, I'll be a cuck in private, but as soon as people find out about this shit, I'm hitting the hills. <laughs> hey, man, if that's how he feels, hey, hey man. I guess. It is what it, that's it, what it is. You're, you're good enough to be with a private. Why, why he got to be a cuck? What? That's, that's what being a is. cuck? That's what it is. Is that not a cuck? No. That's a cuck. No, it's not. Dating somebody who gets fucked? No, 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 no. No. Being a cuck is you. He enjoys it. How do you know that? You're that's her about- job. So how you know he enjoys it? He's doing it. Okay. He enjoys it because he's, okay, he's no, dating her. No, no. So you accept there's, it. There's a difference between nah, dating. There's a difference between accepting and enjoying. There's a difference between dating adult entertainer Shit. and being a cuck. You're a cuck if you date an adult entertainer. You are a cuck. She goes to work, gets fucked, comes home to you, and you fuck her too. No. And you're like, see, it worked. <laughs> I'm just making money. No. Mm. You're a cuck. No. Yeah. There's no either you are you're either a, you are or you're not. You're a lightweight cuck. Yeah. But you're a cuck. <laughs> either you are or you're not. There's no. It's a cuck spectrum. There's no eh. Yeah. I'm it's, not a cuck. Because there's cuck. You're, you're on the cuck spectrum. Yeah. You're on the. You're firmly yeah. in the cuck spectrum. Yeah. You're not in the deep end of it, but being, you're on there. No. Just because just being, because you don't go to bring your spouse cuck. to work day doesn't mean you're not a cuck. Being a cuck <laughs> is is allowing your wife to do that and you're enjoying it and like she's not get like like, like she no, that's also, it's not her job. But also, that's that's not why they're on the spectrum. That's why you're on the spectrum. Also being like because on some level I'm you are a, accepting that you know in your mind when my girl goes to work she's getting fucked at work no she's would getting, you date would you date an adult entertainer no i would not because you're not a cuck no, Keenan. That's not cuck. Why. why wouldn't you because you don't I, want your girl getting fucked no <laughs> say it no. I, that, that's <laughs> Keenan, i know what you t- you're saying but it's, it's, yeah. it's in the it's, it's still it's, technically a, it's a cuck it's a, cuck. It's a spectrum like it's not nah. to a point Cuck where on the it's, spectrum. It's I think like, I think either you are or you're not. I don't think there's there's yeah. either no, yes, no. In if he was a porn star, would he be considered a cut? Yes, she would. Yeah. Yes. So they're. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, so they're both porn stars dating each other. Oh, they're both cucks. Yeah. Yeah. Two cucks. Cuck a doodle doo. Clear, clearly, they're getting. Now, off I obviously, on don't know what the definition of a cuck is, but okay, it's fine. A cuck is somebody it's, whose woman mm. is or husband or whoever. Is out there getting fucked and they are okay with it. You come home to that and you're like, well, whether they, it, it could okay with it could be just s- slowly accepting it or embracing it and want to join in. Are you looking up the definition? Go ahead, read the definition. A man whose whose wife is unfaithful. Oh, hmm. does that have anything to do with enjoying being okay with it? You said that. Y'all said that. Either way, no, we said <laughs> like what. The- She's out there getting fucked, and he knows it. Yeah. Doesn't mean if he likes it. Doesn't, doesn't matter. mean if he wants to join in, but he knows it. And it I continues think, think, with think, his knowledge. He's a cuck. Okay. I think because I know that's a, a genre of porn, I think that's where kind of where you're. Yeah, the genre of porn. He doesn't have to be so jacking different. off in the corner every yeah. time. Yeah. I, I know that. But he doesn't have to be like, fucking watching Lysol, fresh out the joint, <laughs> fuck this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Motherfucker in the closet dressed as Spider Man. <laughs> it's just that it's not being unfaithful if that's her job. I'm just saying. Uh, it's not it's being. Still, if you don't it's define still, it as that, that's, that's but not it's, being unfaithful because she's, going, she's you, just clocking you, in and clocking you out. You know huh? what's going on. You know what you go. It's cuck. But okay. Uh, well, my job is to sell drugs. It's not illegal because it's my job. Okay. Okay. And. <laughs> I know I wasn't taking offense to that. No, that's not, that's yeah, not all right, I'm just saying like that's mm. hey, same shit. Uh, <laughs> my it's my job to suck all these dicks. That's not yours. Okay, all right, mm-hmm. suck them dicks then. Suck them dicks. I couldn't work anywhere else. It's just it's not possible. Yeah. I gotta take the job where I suck all these other dicks. Mm. Hey man, hopefully it's lucrative. I'm sure she makes money. I would hope. Mm. But all right. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Some, yeah. Need something to wash off the shame. <laughs> Bring back shame. shame. Bring, Bring back, back shame. 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 Shout out mm-hmm. to Spray Gibbs. <laughs> Please. We don't have to. This episode is over. <laughs> I'm <ending> now. <laughs> this episode is over, guys. Uh, we will see you. Hey, no. <laughs> Just let him. Let him. Nah, go in peace. Push, I'll talk about it when you push the yeah, mic. Yeah, say, yeah. <laughs> All right. Wait, 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 Let him spread in peace. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, actually, actually they say he'd be on OnlyFans like his hinge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait, Mike. <laughs> what she did was illegal. I don't want to. What she did was very illegal. It was very illegal. Yeah. Yeah. We could talk about... yeah. But he's such a troll. It was just like. See y'all next week, same time, same place. Yeah, I don't know what else to say, guys. It is. Bye. Next week, (laughs) same booty hole. It's all in the goddamn link tree. (laughs) It's all in the goddamn. This is Freddie Gibbs and Boss Man D Lo. Just got their ass out, bro. Rick Ross, baby mom, put Boss Man D Lo shit out there. I still don't understand why. Revenge porn is illegal, no matter which sex. No matter who it is, it's not okay. Yeah. Please. When women do it, it's just. Oh my God, his dick little. Woo. Look at his little, look at his little starfish. Look at his little brown starfish. <laughs> look at his little. Serve papers. Look at that booty hole. You've been served. Look at his yeah. old fashioned donut hole. <laughs> it's not funny though. Look at his it's. Little... <laughs> <laughs> look at his little Paddington bear button. Paddington oh, bear. <laughs> it's just like a sweet potato. You see the little. <laughs> Click. That nigga shit look like a fucking.